For homeowners, there's always one more chore to do, but our credit union gives you a hand. With a home equity loan, you control the projects. Our credit union gives homeowners options when choosing a loan with us. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA.
mighty javelinas. Go, go Hans, go! go. One go. Hey, Hog Nation. Welcome to the Other Guys Sports Show. Welcome. Welcome all. We are here at live at Havelina Stadium here at David Lopez Field. As tonight, a beautiful, nice, breezy, cool fall weather. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, we are hosting the Lytle Pirates. I know last week I couldn't make it. Um, I was in an important uh, ESPN type. Uh, they they transferred uh, me to Robert, cover some area. <laughs> David, you got really fancy on us. Uh, <laughs> you went to like Bristol it. over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had to cover some other uh, sports uh, with uh, ESPN Ocho on that. But uh, <laughs> I'm back. I'm glad to be back. Um, unfortunately, now I know what what it's being taken uh, when they do take care of you on on a, on a good podcast. A podcast. I had a room, hotel, everything. I even got to go to a concert, a Reba McIntyre concert. That, that so, was awesome, Dave. Yeah, all paid for. Yeah, we, well, we missed you. <laughs> oh yeah, so for sure. We, you know, we did miss you, but you did make you did miss a, a great game. That's what performance I heard. on the Javelinas. No, part heard, of them. I heard the game was very close. In fact, we thought. Uh, well, I heard that we had the lead in the first half as well. Hmm. Well, we did. I think the m most important thing that I take out of that game is that even though we were down by, I think two touchdowns or a touchdown. At Towards the end of the right. second half, there was fight in the Havelinas. Towards the end, come on, like they were trying to score at will, and and I saw, and, and I was like, wow, you know, honestly, if we would have played that way with that physicality, the whole season we could have at least Be won a couple more games. We could have beaten a couple of teams on that. On, I think so too. Well, that's good because I know Poteet again also was a contender for the for the district championship. But of course, now that we've uh, pretty much at the end of the district play, we know that Jordanson will probably be the sole district champ for our district. Uh, Poteet and uh, Cotula will be fighting out for second and third place right now, depending on tonight's uh, uh, results. Uh, and of course, uh, I think this is the we don't have a chance, do we? No, no. That's it. Where this is officially the last game of the season. Yeah. There's no, there's no way mathematically. Mathematically, not even mathematicians have been working overtime. They can't figure it out. 
<laughs> now, I know the the last pack podcast we had, we were talking about our chances uh, being that if we beat Poti, we could have, you know, probably made sneak in there in fourth place. But unfortunately, that was not the tale of the tale, uh, the, the course of the tale. But um, we're here, and tonight, uh, one of these teams is going to get a, another win added to their uh, to their roster here. Uh, but uh, yeah, and both teams come in and one at eight in the season, and I was thinking. Because being both teams officially eliminated from the playoffs, so what else is there to play? You know, I think you need to dig in. You know, maybe because in the, you would think in the last few games, well, you know what, playoff is a possibility. But now that you're eliminated, then it, to me, in a way, I think it's a little bit harder to kind of, or no, what do you think, Bobby, or to 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 get up and you know what, come on, like play the the energy you need. Come on, like the performance we saw last week against uh, or. Robert, that, that's a tough question. No, you know, you know it is, right? You're supposed to be pumped without having to be. Yeah, yeah. But, but I, I think you're right as far as they need to find that in themselves for tonight's yes. game. Um, I think the seniors should be the, the focus point on the this. The people who are going to push right. on that, our last game. So the emotions will be there on the senior class, Robert. Um, no, we are having, uh, I was talking to one of the coaches earlier today, and we do have a lot of returners. Hopefully everybody stays healthy and um, everybody returns next year, especially our defense. Defense, we're going to be pretty much pretty much all the same. We're just going to be a little bit bigger and a little bit faster. Now, the offensive part, we will be bringing back uh, Jared Novasso, our running back. Uh, we will be getting some uh, receivers, a lot of linemen, which we've been looking at our freshman and JV group. And it looks like we got some good linemen coming up from that uh, those class group right there. So we got a lot of things to look forward to. Um, I know, like I said, tonight uh, we do definitely want to look forward to maybe a good win tonight, maybe build on that for next year. And you know what? Season uh, Next year's season starts tomorrow. Yeah, pretty much, exactly. In a certain ways, I think second season starts right now for the underclassmen. You know, definitely you want to, if you haven't really uh, showed the coaches what you can do, this is time to do it. To yeah. see, you know what, it's a long season. You know what, I remember this player doing this or this solo tackle. Or right. or let's say if it was a, a blown coverage, you know, the guy didn't sit back and just cross his arms. You know, still went after him, tried to tackle him you know, at the last inside the end zone or whatever, you know, effort, effort, right. energy, you know, that's what I want to see. Now, last week, of course, Chris City losing to Poteet Aggies 9-23. to uh, Big bad Poteet. Um, what was your take on Poteet? Uh, Honestly, team? I thought they were going to be a little bit better. Really? To, to, to tell the truth. Uh, but it could be, I don't know, you know, that's my, what I got out of the game. Because I, I know they were putting up, Bobby. I don't know, I, I know they were putting a lot of points uh, earlier. Uh, in the season, but they kind of slowed down going into into district. Uh, so that was kind of surprising for me, especially uh, I know that Poteet was uh, trying to heal some injuries yeah. as well. Well, one thing we, me and Bobby have talked about during the game, that it's possible that Jordanton, well, they did put a beat down on them on the, oh, on the yeah. previous week. So maybe, you know, there was... Uh, Hard to recover from that. Uh, uh, bruising, uh, bruised eagles or something oh, yeah. like that. You know what I mean? It's uh, tough to, 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 to come back the next week and kind of do it again, though. But, right. but, but re reality, I, I think of all the games that I've seen in district, I think Jordanton might be the real deal. Right. Uh, uh, from I, all the teams that we faced this yeah, year. Yeah, Kutula has been struggling offensively. Um, Hondo seems that they're picking up their game a little bit. Right. But but when we faced them, they did a lot of mistakes. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. That team is not too well polished right. to go a deep run in the plot. But I expect Jordanton to do it. And and I'm not too sure with Boutique. Right. Now, last week, Jordanton also hosting or traveling to Lytle, to Lytle Pirates. Now, Jordanton putting uh putting up 44 points against uh, Lytle's seven points. So uh, Lytle also coming from a, a tough loss. You know, they put in 44 points on him. So let's see how Lytle reacts uh, today against Crystal City. Now, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Now, now, from what I understand, uh, against Poti, Crystal City, uh, we were leading in the first half, uh, you know, kind of got a little bit out of hand after the second half. But the thing is that what you're telling me, Robert, was there was a lot of com competition, in, you know, that you saw, or competitiveness. Yes, competitive from start to end. Now, if they, if they play with the same intensity, the same physicality, and, right. and never quit attitude, I think we, we had definitely have a great chance to win this game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, uh, also tonight, uh, of course, uh, you know, there's no playoff uh, contendency for, for this game tonight. But I think it's just about how to finish the season. I think so, though, and I think the the seniors should come on like 
even players are they're not feeling it you know they need to be the leaders and you know you know what i mean tell them you know put a fire on them and you know what let's do this and let's finish strong and let's finish strong and i think it's important though to finish strong in the season oh yeah definitely without a doubt uh you definitely want to finish with a win and but not only that maybe a good good win right right and also saying all these positive things with with crystal the other side of the coin Lytle seems thinking the same way. Oh, yeah. And it seems Lytle mentality is, you know what? Crit City is not playing as well. You know, there's an opportunity for us to go to Crystal and, 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 and uh, beat them. So that's where, you know, uh, the mental toughness comes in for the Hovlinus. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And now tonight from our district, Poteet going to Hondo tonight to uh, as a – has a tough schedule uh, against Hondo, against Poteet, I'm sorry, as Poteet travels to Honda tonight. Uh, and that might be an implication of where every everybody uh, is seated in uh, going into district Exactly. Play. If Hondo beats them, they'll go to second place, right? Right. I think so. And yeah. Hondo will be in third. Well, right. second, of course. If they lose, they'll go to third, of course. Right. Now, also, uh, also a tall order for Cotula going against Jordanton tonight. So... Cotula is still wanting to play somewhere high in the district, so they definitely need uh, a, a good game against Jordan tonight. Now, it might be possible because Jordan might be thinking already about first place, having it pretty much covered, and pretty much maybe resting a lot of their starters tonight. Well, that's for sure. You know, it, it, it's come on like, what do you do? Uh, rest or rust? You want to play your players, but keep them fresh for next week in the right. playoffs. Yeah, but you don't want to hurt them. So yeah. it's it's a fine line, though. It's it's a, it's a it's a balancing act. Oh yeah, it depends on the coach. You know, if it was Bobby, Bobby would play him there to all four quarters. No, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> offense and defense. But Bobby thinks this is Madden. <laughs> <laughs> he can, yeah, no, no, no. But, you know what I mean? I think as, as smart as a coach to be selective. In yeah, key uh, key elements. Maybe even maybe play him a one quarter, one drive, or you know, one possession game, and then just sit yeah, him down. Yeah, at the minimum, maybe in the first half, or maybe start in the third quarter and then rest them. It really depends on the situation. So we'll take a break right now. We're gonna do the national anthem. So stay right with us with the other guys. Portion. We'll be right back. Let's go, Hawks. All, All right. right guys. Guys. cameras, Rob? So far, it looks solid. I uh, just got the camera from the sideline. Okay. Looks like it's, this might be like 4K, Bobby. Yeah, I like <laughs> it. I like it. Looks yeah. good. Looks good. Yeah, so. And I know there'll be a front coming. That's what David uh, kind of mentioned that. earlier. So hopefully, uh, the wind will not be a factor. Yeah, um, I want to. Touch on, on based on on Rachel Rob. Oh yes, I'll uh, bring it up. A, a quick note, guys. Uh, I did lose my my cousin. She was part of the other guy's sports show last year. She yes. helped us out on the camera. Yes. When one of our camera crew went down, and my cousin Rachel Ramirez Mireles stepped up for the whole season and helped us out. So thank you, thank you, Rachel, and prayers goes to the family. Yes. So. Yes, sir. And um, the family did mention, you know, we do have a fundraiser and the cash app there. It's at CPVIG, Cristina Ramirez, my cousin, her sister. If you guys have any time you want to donate, we're going to go ahead and use her cash app throughout tonight's broadcast. That's right. As family, you know, is in dire need. Um, life insurance wasn't there for her um, as a cancer patient. Um, so with that being said, thank you, Rachel. God bless you. And we'll have a little moment of silence That's for right. Rachel here. Up.
All right, good job, Bobby. All right, prayers to the family and to everybody out there also for all, all the other cancer, uh, you know, people that have been affected by cancer. I know my mom yes. is a survivor from cancer as well. So that kind of touches close to, to, to home. Right, he pulls all your strings, right? So yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough. I'm okay. Everybody knows that somebody's affected, either your yeah. personal family or friends or what have you. Just, just like you mentioned you know. it, Bobby. Cancer does suck. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, I have a better word for that, but, you know, <laughs> F cancer. <laughs> but anyway, so back thank to you tonight's guys. game. Thank you, uh, guys. No, no, thank you. Thank you uh, for giving that awareness to men yeah. for cancer, you know, which is, you know, something that everybody needs to be aware of. Uh, also, uh, tonight, uh, Mighty Javelinas, last oh, game of the it's season. Awesome, guys. Yes. You know, uh, we've been to this point, and it's gone so fast, guys. It seemed like we were just. Brackettville playing Brackettville and winning, right? Beating Brackettville uh -huh. so, here so at our home I, stadium. I hope we finished the way we started, guys. I, 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 I know we didn't get to do our podcast this week, but I see the guys ready. I, I I'm pumped. Yeah, I, I feel like these guys want to win it, finish on a great note. Yeah, and keep building. This is a, was a good building block. It is sad, but I, I I feel that our seniors need to say we need to end it on a good note. So we saw a lot of great stuff last week. David, that yeah, I, 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 I saw a lot of fight. You know, Robert attested to this earlier, right? Talking right. to you guys earlier. Um, but Christy, you know, they didn't let down, they, they kept going back at it. And Coach Garcia, you know, he put in some wrinkles in that offensive line, and, and it turned out, oh, there you go. Jared gets the ball and he and protects the ball as, as Lido went right at the ball here. Yeah, they went for the kind of like a straight script kick almost like an onside kick mm -hmm. but jerry was also very aware and ready for it putting both hands on it and just you know ma you know making sure the ball was secured the uh, now javelina start at their own 34 yard line and let's see what the javelina offense has for lytle tonight hopefully they'll be able to put it produce a good drive and not mm -hmm. only that get some points out of this first drive yeah. what do you what do you want to see robert out of the offense well today? a little bit of what we saw last week uh, I like the under center instead of in a, a pistol formation instead of traditional. We're playing. Uh, oh, we uh, went under formation. center. Look yeah, at last that. last week it's also it under center. It looks like we are going to broken eye formation, and the first play is a handoff to Sanchez, and it's caught in the backfield there. Nowhere to go. Number twenty-five on a good tackle there by Lido, and he is one of the key players for Lido. And also, not only going just solely go under center, change it up a little bit. Go back to your shotgun formation, kind of kind of a. Uh, a change of pace type of deal, but I like the under center uh, situation. I, I, I'm hoping for the spread. What I like is the same key players stay on the field, Robert. Right here, number six is the, our, is our dangerous weapon for the Javier Garcia. So we're, now we're going with four wideouts, and it is a pass to Garcia. Make a move. Yeah, he, he gets to the flats, and so a gain of four yards brings us to a gain of two. And so also, I think that that actually, pass might actually, be available. I, I, that was a pretty good gain right there for about maybe four or five yards. Yeah, so it'll uh, be third and eight. Third and eight right now. And Robert, you alluded to the fact that the coaches, the way they're calling the offensive plays, have progresses itself, right? Well, it's it is. You're right. I wasn't bring. You know, I'll give some uh, uh, praises to the head coaches uh, or and the coaching staff really to to changing the offense. Come on, like you see signs on the on the sidelines and changing formations and that stuff that you know they are trying to improve. Oh, oh, 84 did not know the ball was coming at him. Uh -huh. And the ball was right there, too. Yeah, Vargas. So, so going back to my point, uh, you know, seeing that the coaches, uh, they're not giving up on the kids. or Not, not, not necessarily giving up, but giving up in the season. Right. In the sense that they're still adding, tweaking the offense a little bit, even to this very last day. Yeah, I like that. Now, it shows right there that um, Lytle, absolutely no respect of the offense. They're bringing everybody blitzing. They blitzed twice on the second uh, on the uh, second down and third down I think they jumped on line though but I don't think they're gonna call it though right yeah so so Lido Pirates on a great opportunity right now as they get the ball inside deep into Havilland territory after a I guess a fumble from the punter. Yeah, no, no, looks that, like that, that, oh. that, that snap was kind of low as well. But, but the ball hit his hands though. He should have caught it though. Yeah, well, yeah. He, I think he should have just tried to punt it. <laughs> well, yeah, bottom line, yes. Right. <laughs> but then also the defenders were real top of them. There were like two, three defenders. Yeah. yeah, I know he tried to run to the right side, but there was no opening there. So let's yeah. see if our heavenly defense, Hawkzilla, kind of 
maybe, man, tall order right here for them, but let's see if they can. Uh, yeah, hold them to less than 10 yards here. Yeah, right. see if they can hold them right here. Inside the 20. So they're coming up with twins to the right. Is a pistol formation, but it's they got a 44. Is a, look at that, 21, yeah, Mendoza. Bumble. Oh, let's go. Uh, Block him, use your blockers. No, no, the, the referee stopped the play. But oh, he was down. Yeah, uh -oh. he called him down. And another flag, Lake Trout. I don't know if that's a personal foul. And it's a flag as it's going to be against the Javelinas. Probably a delayed game. No, yeah. I think our announcer got too excited and said, I found one to play, and he did not know if to keep playing it or not. So is it a fumble or not? No, is yeah, the whistle was blown and then the ball came out. So, really, that was a quick whistle. I think games so that delay a game. <laughs> wow. But what about the fumble though? Wouldn't it be in the back? Well, the thing was they so, blew. So, so instead of from the spot of the because he was sacked. Yeah, he was sacked exactly. So how can that be from the line of scrimmage? Yeah, I know that doesn't make sense. Exactly, make it They forgot about the the sack. Yeah. Oh, 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 completely. He was, it was what, 15 yards back? Yeah, yeah at, at least, least at the 30. And we got the ball at the 40. <laughs> so there you go. And you're taught that you don't know, you know. Great, great penetration right there by number 51. Diego. Uh, Diego Rivera. Yeah, because in previous games, we've seen him where the pile, the, uh, the running back, doesn't get any yardage, but the pile's still there. They don't blow the whistle. Come on, like a few seconds yeah, afterwards. I know, I know. Now there's a quick whistle. That was a very quick uh -huh. whistle. I guess because it was a quarterback, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, the, the NFL is protecting the quarterback. Yeah, they take to extra precautions on the quarterback. So, yeah, so maybe that's the answer. So, here we go. Third down and about an eight for the Lido Pirates. You got eight seconds on the play clock. Quarterback keeper, I think he's gonna be held. So fourth down here, guys, right at the 12-yard line. So they're gonna go for it. And so great opportunity for our defense here, Dave, yeah. to say, let's reset, let's stop them here. And I like what I'm doing right here with the offense right now. They're already getting ready for the next possession right here. Hopefully they'll be able to produce a little bit better on that. So far, uh, Lido hasn't attempted a pass, right? It's mostly quarterback keepers or, yeah, runs. or yeah. runs. So you're forecasting a, a pass here, Robert? As well, 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 yes, a little bit. I think they're going to well, call a, a possibility, though. I think, I think they're going to call a timeout to decide. I think they're going to bring in the field goal yeah. unit, maybe. Four seconds. Well, definitely they're bleeding the clock, though. Timeout. Wow, Lido's they're going to bleed the clock. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the full score. It's kind of interesting. But you know what? Let's take a quick break, yes. and we'll uh, work for my sponsors, and we'll be right back with the other guys' sports show. All right, here we go. Big fourth down here. Oh, Lido looks like they're ready to do a field goal here. Honestly, that's a smart decision, though. If it should make it. And it is no good. No good. Oh, it's, a bad, it's a bad decision, then. Javelina's yes. defense. <laughs> I think it's a great decision. They did not lose anything. Able to but, hold but, but they had, Yeah, they had an attempt for three. I like that. Yeah, I mean, no, but, no. And it turned in to our favor. So having the offense gets to reset. Yeah. Let's get this baby going. Well, you're right, though, because if they would have made it, they probably know that this is going to be a low-scoring game. So so points are a premium. So they're trying to get the extra. Or right, the, the, exactly. Uh, the, the and that's what I like. We while well, the, well, the defense was over here trying to hold Lido. I like that the offense was over here already trying to get ready for that next. Regroup, start the next drive, and let's be a little bit more productive. Yeah, it looks like we're going with, again, with the same formation here. We got 
swings right or doubles to the right. Broken eye formation, quarterback under center. Let's exploit, I like the yeah. left side here. Flores hands it off to, to Sanchez. I think Caleb has enough speed to be able to beat people on the edges. Uh, I, I don't know why we can't exploit the edges here and maybe a pitch out, roll out, maybe even a play action roll out Carlos Flores on a, you or, know. Or a play action to him and then give, it, give him the ball. Oh yeah. Once, once he's five, six yards deep. Because exactly. they won't catch him once he, he's got, you know. He gets that corner, it's hard to catch Caleb yeah, Sanchez. Yeah. So now Caleb is going out as a wide out. Now we're going with trips to the right. So now it's a pitch and it's a reverse. It's to Norby and he's got some room. Beat him. Oh. And he bought up. And for a second there, I thought he had the speed, but great yeah. containment turned the, who was that, defensive the end corner, or I don't know if it was a corner. Corner, corner stayed on. Yeah, him. sorry about that, Rob. That's okay. Number 17, another key player. Look at that. And they, they asked me to mark the key players for them, and 17 is one of them, Robert. I mean, Dave. Albert Aguilar. Aguilar. He's a safety. He was up in that play there. Oh, so wow. Third so. and, what is it, seven? Yeah, about third and seven now. Ball spotted at the Javelina 23-yard line. 7-14 remaining in the first quarter. Both offenses trying to make something happen here. I like the play, though, the, the reverse. It was nice. Kind of keep them on their toe. So our punting unit get to try it again. Yeah. Let's see if we can get, uh, clean up a little bit and kind of have a nice punt here. Yeah. So Lytle's defense, man, <laughs> keeping our offense in check right here. Yeah, it looks like we're kind of uh, – but I did notice that – I think the Havalinas have tried to run outside. It's more like more between the tackles type of right. running, except for, I want to say, maybe uh, Jarrett mm. went inside. He kind of bounced it outside, but it wasn't too successful. So here's a punt. The oh, nice punt. Getting nice the Havalina roll. roll. So number 17 was back for Lido. <laughs> They're blowing it and stuff like that. That is a 10, 20, 30, 40, yeah. 50, 60 that's yard punt right there. That's Reynolds doing a, you know, get, asking for that, you know, win to help us out. Justin Reynolds. Hey, whatever helps. How did no. he do last week? His name was called in all last week? No, I don't remember. I, I, no. I don't think we went to him much. No. Uh -uh. So we have 29 viewers, Robert, on Facebook. Let me see. I don't know how many and then and then in YouTube. So make sure you like and share this. This is the game to watch, you guys. We got one, 112. Okay. So YouTube is, is becoming the favorite place to watch. Yeah, but you're on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to us. I know our goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. Right now we're 910, I think. Mm. So if you can donate for a good cause, uh, subscribe, you know, and I'll be happy with that. It yes. looked like that was like more like a quarterback sneak right there. They just, yeah. you know, lean forward. Kind of like a Liberty Hill type play, you know, yeah, bunch that, up everybody the, and the, the push forward. I think they call it the, like the flex formation. Yeah. You know, the thing that Divine and all the other teams have. Just push forward? Yeah. <laughs> well, they have the slots on the side, and now they're going a pistol formation. Oh, no, I no. formation. I formation? And the slot between the tackle and the tight end. Oh. Did it a defense jump? It's right hand off there, making stop for the Avalinas. Also, it'll number be third and short. Luna at number two, Gutierrez. Third and two now for the Lotto Pirates as the ball spotted right Bay above the 20 Bay yard Bay line. And Pirates. I mentioned it so far, we're still looking for the first pass for Lotto, unless they don't pass at all. <laughs> well, I know they want this is a fast first quarter, 539 remaining in the first quarter. Quarterback sneak. It might nope. be his next oh, effort. Man. Yeah, third effort. Now they don't blow the whistle. Now they blow the whistle. Mm -hmm. Man, that's kind of, yeah. So uh, that's easily a first down right there. Yeah, first down for Lytle. Ball spotted at the 28-yard line, middle of the field. And again, just between the tackles. They might take a whole, by, if they keep going like this, Lotto might score not until the second, early second quarter. I guess you'll take those four or five yards every time. 
We got to be quick off. Kind of like a wishbone type of. Uh, and off to number six. So is this what they're going to do? I think more like a grind type of yeah, offense here they're for. Gonna, they're going to try to grind uh -huh. the clock out and just get those, like I said, those four or five yards yeah. consistently. If they can do that, not only will they kill the clock, but only that, it'll, it'll you know, if they score, it'll be a nine-minute drive type deal. I know. So, so, so it's so crucial to, to make a minimal gain on the first down situations. Right. And since uh, Crystal City had trouble actually – Getting a consistent drive. Okay. That's okay. what Lotto's thinking. Maybe we can score even if it takes forever. Right, right. Even if it takes forever, if Crystal can't get a consistent drive, then they're way ahead right now, Lotto. I think so, too. And, and it's a good formula to win a football, but you got to score, though. And also, uh, mistakes will be uh, amplified like oh, yeah. 10 times over. I know Crystal can get that big play. And just push forward for a first down. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if Lotto's been playing all their games like this. That's what I'm wondering also. Uh, I, I want to say yes because it seems that they run different formations and it looks like they're real comfortable running that formation. Another first down for Lotto Pirates. Ball's barely past the 34, I mean 35, 36 yard line here. So 322 remaining in this first quarter as a, as Lotto just trying to grind it out. That's there nice. you go. I like that. Hey yeah, Bobby, even the, even the bat's playing. So that's, you would like that. Yes, I, I, I love when the bank can get involved. Uh -huh. You know, I think I think we need to make a a notation to UIL. They can have the band competition like weeks before the football season starts. <laughs> or after. <laughs> so that, or after the se after the football season, right? So, yeah. so you're saying it's a distraction. That's what you're saying. No, is that <laughs> the band, you know, they, they're, they're, oh. they're competitive too. So they don't want to have any injuries or... I don't so, know. Oh, now they blow the whistle. Right. Of course. No, it well, it was outside. offside defense. So oh, no, no matter, but the pile stopped, but they waited like another five seconds, then they blew the whistle. I'm, oh. I, Going back to my point I'm when that quarterback. Kind right. Of I, I, point taken, Robert. No. I, and I'm with you 100%. No, no, no. I agree with your chain so, about so, so going biased. back to the band, Bobby. Yeah, you know. going back to the band. Yes. I think the band getting involved in a football game, it should be a college oh, yeah. atmosphere if they allow them to. You know, get that competition out of the way. I love to hear the band when I was playing. Right? No, me too, man. The 80s, yeah. I, I think I wanted to be the band. But <laughs> I I, be in, in my time, they, they have to they made us choose. Ah. So my drumming career ended he in fourth, like, you in fourth been, grade. You could have been the next Tommy I, Lee. Yeah. They, I got told to get off the bus. <sighs> nice. Go. Picked off. Number Coronado. <laughs> Now I know why they don't p throw the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Great job there. Number 20, Aaron Coronado on the interception. That ball stayed in the air too long. No, what I love that he, he was looking for it. Yeah. Went up and got it. Pulled it out of the now, air. Now, I think right now this is the third time that Javelinas will get a possession on offense. They need to make sure that they have some production and, and, out of it. And we're in Lytle territory now. Oh, yeah, that's so, what I mean. So great field position starting there, we here. We can't ask for anything else right now. Momentum, Javelinas. Let's see what we do, David. Why are we going with single or split receivers? We got broken eye formation. Quarterback keeper, number four. And I like Throw that. Is, uh -huh. is four yards. Basically saying, we can do what you're doing. Right, right? that's what they're saying right there. It's like, oh, yeah, you, you want to run down the middle? We'll run down the middle, too. Yeah, and also, I, I like Flores. I always thought Flores, is an, I see him as a running back that can, can throw well, the ball. Well, to me, I see him as a multi-talented kid. He, that, he, I think he just needs more time in the back, you know, to be able to be a dicing quarterback. All right. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, but, he's a senior this year. Yeah. I but you can hold him back a year or something, maybe. <laughs> Rich heard him on the college. Right. So here we go. Now we're going with doubles on both sides. Motion. Jerry goes on motion. Hand off to Jerry with some Bring momentum. Cuts 
a few opponents. There you go. And, and, and he is just pushing oh, his legs. Wow. And that's gets, all hard right there. Uh, you gotta love that kid. Jared, Jared Alvaso just saying, bring me down, Papa. Try to bring me down. Uh -huh. And you know what? I'll be here next year, too. Woo! First down. Oh, great job there in the Javelin. That's kind of, you see, that, that was old Will right there. Yeah, so we got Vargas and Guevara on the ends, their receivers. One thing I want to say, the helmets, I, I think I like the gold. It looks sick, man. I love it. I love it. Green and gold. Oh, he fumbled. Oh, no, no, that was a false start, wasn't it? Yeah, or a center hiked it too early, so it'll be a false start against Crystal City. Yeah. And the bad thing is it was it was a bad snap at, the, at that. I think he thought he was under center. I guess. Because that's how far that ball went. And you know what? I've always been taught that the center is the smartest player on the field. That is true back in 91, 92, Rob Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Number 55 for the happiness. Because they got to know. Bob Castillo they got They got to know everybody's assignment plus what the play is. And yeah. And I'd say the quarterback. Yeah. Well. I, I think your center needs to be in tune with the quarterback. Right. Yes, I yeah. think so too. That's because I, I, you know, growing up when I was a center since seventh grade to my senior, year, I I live formations and on both offense and defense. Right, you yeah. you learn how to recognize defense uh, techniques where they're at, and then you got to call out the blitzes if they're yeah. coming. So, oh, that was fun, man. One of those things I do miss, and that's one of the things that I love from here is noticing packages, right? That's right. But I see that a lot of high school, you know, they... Let's get a timeout here, Bobby, real quick. Sorry down. about that. And uh, we'll be right back with the other guy's sports show. Seven, uh, zero to zero. End of the first quarter. Be right back. All right, welcome back. Here we go. Start of the second quarter, 0-0. How many are looking at a long third down here? Step up. Nice pass. Hey, whoa. Hey. What happened? In a personal foul? Yeah, yeah he, he got. We needed that. Yeah, we did for the first down. Well, it's an automatic first down anyway. After that. Yeah. So that's why we needed that. Because <laughs> that was a gain of. Maybe six yards. Yeah. And the personal foul. You know what? I would like for them to do that first in the first, uh, like uh, the first down. Yeah. Maybe get that that first, that six six yards. And that will make the second and third down more manageable. Maybe yeah. not even have to go into third down. So, Javelina's marching down the field now. The ball spotted at their, at Lytle's 18-yard line. Florida's in a shotgun formation. He's got Jared on his left side pocket. And again, false start on the offense here. As the line trying to find what count the ball was supposed to get snapped on. Did, did, did he snap it early or late? I, I think the, uh, late. Okay. Yeah, because I saw a lineman move and then the center was. It's the same center, right? It's, unless they put it in a different center. Okay, maybe you have them. Yeah. To? So first and 15 from now from the 24-yard line of Lytle. 11.49 remaining, 0-0 zero, zero in, the, in the second quarter already. So first and 15, we got doubles to the right, Vargas to the left. Breeze and Uravaso. Let it go, let it go. Protection. Oh. And, oh. 
He had it there, and he dropped it. Yeah. He, he should have ran. I think so, too. Yeah, he should have ran. He was looking for either Vargas on the, on the corner, but that ball did not come out favorable out of his hand. No, no I think it slipped out a little bit. Right, Normally, he has a more spiral. Yeah, or, it was a squabbly or, throw there. Uh -huh. So the scoreboard, let's throw the scoreboard out there. It's yeah. zero, zero. So zero, I zero. mean, if he would have lasered it, maybe if it would have maybe yeah, got there yeah. quicker, he might have had a chance. It's just that they, they gave that, that safety enough time to recover and, and get in front of that ball. So here we go, second and 15 for Javelinas. Yeah. And one of our fans saying that Coach Olvedo was a center. Back oh, come on, 84 back. drops the ball. Nick Vargas. Oh, he could have scored on that one. I think so. Uh -huh. There was no safety in front of him. Yeah, Vargas is going to. He's going to think about that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for a while. Good thing is it's early. He can redeem himself here. So watching from Florida, thank you for tuning into the other guy's sports show. Make sure you like and share the page. Well, I don't know. Hopefully it's true, though. Last What's time that? we got some people from outer space and stuff. Oh, yeah, right. They were. Hey, how do you? It might be. Maybe they're over there in the, in the satellite. <laughs> in Hubble, right oh, no. no, Nowhere to go, guys. So field goal? No. Not even an attempt, Dave? No. No. We got the win in front of us. Oh, yeah. There's no way. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Out. So here we go, though. The annexation of Puerto Rico play. No, yeah, that. yeah, we, yeah. Need to call, we need to bring it out. Bring all the plays right now because they're not used to us. Yeah, single coverage, man. Go number six, go cut cut inside. Oh, yeah. Number 25. Did that. And there's a flag, late flag, though. Right. Might be a block in the back, maybe? Maybe. Uh, they'll still retain possession, Lytle, but they might be pinned way inside their own 10-yard uh, line over there. If this, uh, if it's a personal foul, or probably maybe you're right, once uh, once the defense's, defense got the ball, then they become an offense now, and you can't hold or block, you know, behind the black, behind the back, I'm sorry. Let's see what they yeah, Oh, they picked up the foul. No, no, no. They, they put the ball right at the five-yard line, Dave, or six-yard line. So All right, so. Six. Yeah, so. Here we go. So, Javelina's defense, which might be having to score for our for for Crystal City now. Somebody want to put a comment to Lytle. It says, no, they have not played like that all season. Wonder why they're uh, doing it now. So, that's... Uh, Something. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the insight on that. 1057 remaining now in the second quarter. Lotto pinned down in their own territory. Low snap. Oh! Oh, wow. I thought it was oh, fumble. Good. No. Havelina ball. Is it Havelina? Yes. Yeah. I saw Havelina run right on it. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. That's yeah, baby. There we go. There we go. Big Havelina break. defense coming to play. Yeah, I saw somebody punch that ball, and that really helped us. Because the quarterback had the ball kind of uh, outside, right? Kind yeah. of then has a high, come on, high and tuck. The, 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 yeah, the, the quarterback was still, I mean, I mean, on, on his, <laughs> for his defense, he was trying to make a play. So as he kept trying, you know, uh, he everybody, defender, everybody and he was tucked in pursuit. It, it was and, and then, you know, it did not work in his favor. Favor, Havelina football, Papa. Get First quarter, thing, go. Quarterback keeper, all four plays. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're playing backyard football no, now. No, no, right? you got to sometimes. Well, well, it looks like is it, it's it, Wildcat. Wildcat number 35, it's Joe right Reese. Number 35, and, and I think that we I'm went backwards, Rob. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd rather have Flores. <laughs> but I'm telling you. <laughs> Under center, maybe. Right? <laughs> actually, I, a, I, thought it was a actually I would like maybe a Caleb or a Reese pitch out to, to the corner, right? Yeah. Which would be to the right side. Yeah, right now the ball's on left hash mark. I want Caleb touching the pi um, I, I, pylon. I would, that bring, side. I would I would like to see the receivers uh, see they uh. bring them in, in motion because they're going to be in man right now and just pitch it out, seal the edge. Hopefully that'll be able enough to. Oh, we're missing a, a the right in. guard. Okay, we have 13 seconds on the play clock. That's good enough. That's fine. 10 fair. seconds. Should be enough time. Uh, no, there's a movement on the line. Number 21, the defensive end we on the backwards. blitz. Why, yeah. don't we, why don't we throw it? And, you know, this is a, nothing new, though. We've been having this same problem the whole season. Yeah, our, our uh -huh. offense. Our, our edges just uh -huh. collapse, right? 
I mean, he does have like a few seconds to throw it. It just, I guess the play takes a little bit more than a few seconds to develop. I, I wonder if he has to set up like a punter like eight yards back, give him <laughs> enough time. I don't think he can see that far, man. Uh, yeah, it'll be too much to ask. So third and goal from the nine. And number eight pursuing him. He's got, he had the edge, decided not to take it. And it's an incomplete pass. And we start, well, we had the ball inside the five? Yeah. Yeah. Now we're inside the, the 10 yard line. Field goal. Field goal. I like to see a field goal right yeah, here. Yeah, I'll say field goal. I'd say field goal right here. Yeah, but I don't think we want to see one. Um, anybody came in? Uh -huh. Field goal. Uh, is it? It looks like Coach is going to. It'll be a what? A 30, 27, 20. Yeah, the ball spotted right at the 10. So that'll be a 30 yard. Yeah, about well, 30. It'll be a, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, oh, man. Flores <laughs> did not. Uh, he was backpedaling for his life there in that one. Well, it was a, it was a screen. It was a screen on there. Yeah, but but everybody was lost. But he was doing it under center, right? Yeah. So maybe he should yeah. have done it under the pistol formation. Maybe <laughs> give him more separation. I don't know. Could have, would have, should have. It is, didn't work. Is going to be. I think whoever scores might win this game. <laughs> <laughs> the first team to score. The first team to score. <laughs> well. So it might be special teams. Remember, we had a kickoff return. Oh. What was it, against Hondo? Uh, against Hondo, yeah. Uh -huh. Eric Reese. So defense again called up to see if they can hold Lytle. They did a really good a, job last a, last uh, Lytle's possession. We need a safety here. No, we need a fumble recovery and a touchdown. Okay, that, there you go. Back to number 21, Mendoza. Great job, Mendoza and Hernandez, number 11. And that's what you need to see. You know, one of the things that we've been struggling with our linebackers is finishing in the backfield. Yeah. I, I think Hernandez has one of the best noses oh, yeah, as a linebacker, ball. but he's able. To, the guys have been able to escape arm tackles. Now, Mendoza Jr. coming in next year as well is going to be the, probably one of the leaders in the defense right there. Here he comes. And stacks yeah. up the middle, plugs it up. Yeah, gain of one. So it'll be third and ten. Hey, Bobby, there's a shout-out for you, Bobby. Oh, shoot. Because yeah, I, I want to make a shout-out for Bobby to letting me join the other guy's sports show by Jacob. Oh, All right, oh, Jacob. <laughs> 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 Jacob's getting popular by the minute. Oh, no, yeah, that. He has his uh, own. Uh, he's, got, he's got his own. Uh, we love Jacob.com. Andale, then it's a group easy though. Yeah, J Jacob has been instrumental as you can see that. And uh, he's camera single. angles. He's single. And, and he's single. And he's a, but he's a salesman. They, they are. <laughs> oh, for, uh, get there it. There you go, number two. Go, 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 go. Gutierrez. Go, 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 Gutierrez go, go, is a player. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh man. Oh, man. oh, oh wow. That was great. Gutierrez, I thought he wasn't going to get that, but yeah. he is a fast kid. No, Gutierrez is, you know, last year he was, you know, one of my MVPs. Now can we punch it in, though? Oh, That's another I opportunity. Know, That's no. We That's can't, the answer is no. No, no, we got to. No. Let's go quarterback we, keeper. We Let's have go, to. Go back to my play. We're going to we're gonna go back to the co um, leisure coaches. <laughs> we're going to be... Trying to tell the coach what to do here. <laughs> Momentum, so Crystal City, 7.43 remaining uh, uh, in the second quarter. I think I think we need Lytle's quarterback to yeah. throw that ball for us. Six seconds. Oh, timeout, Crystal. <laughs> okay, let's take a timeout also. That's it. We'll be right back. Woo! Uh -huh.
Okay, we're back. We're back. We're going to see how Olin can punch it in the left side. That might be the opportunity. Oh, Jared, stop. See a loss of yards, Robert. I'm looking at the replay here. Yeah, I saw the an opportunity there, but it looks like he was kind of uh, waiting for the hole, being yeah. patient. But Number 17 and 25 are great defensive players oh there man. for Lido, man. They're Down eight, the middle. They, they, they know how to cut those angles. So kudos to Lido's defense. Or both defense just holding each other, you know. Well, for, go right, for, go. for right now, how uh, turnovers have been. Uh, but now. Oh, Caleb, go, Caleb. Number 12, Caleb Sanchez on a carry, still going. Still going, look oh. positive yardage. Inside the park. Good job, outside, yes. outside. Now, if we can't capitalize on the turnovers, then kind of feels, what's the point? So that's why we got to punch it in. So third down. I recommend don't throw the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, whatever, yeah. Here we go, 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 go. <laughs> All the, the announcer just. I love John Bolo. He's John, got everybody. He's our best cheerleader. Okay, okay. No so penalties. Trips, right. penalties. Guevara 30 on seconds. motion. Hand off. Quarterback keeper. And he oh, takes it to the house. Baby, there there go, 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 go. I bet that feels good. Yeah. I bet that feels good. Yes. There you go. There you go, Flores. Senior. Here it is. Oh. Good job, Flores. Flor is not being denied there. They, no, and, and, and the best part was the way he stopped and asked one of his defenders just get in front of me. He just, <laughs> yeah. he, he avoided getting yeah. tackled. That's right. That was beauty right there. So Exactly. Couldn't, uh, you see his legs there. So great job there. So Flores. let me ask you this. Who scored the touchdown last week? Was it a run? That's a good question. Was it a run or a pass? Remember. It was Baby, I, I, I wanted to put that game behind me. I can't remember what I ate for <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> it's good. Good. That, oh. oh, oh, come on. That wind is blowing hard. That yeah. is. Let's take a quick break, guys. All right, we'll be right back. Go home. Love that feeling of freedom on a motorcycle? We get it. And when you get your motorcycle loan from our credit union, you get it too. As a member and an owner, you get our best terms and best service. To wheel good reasons to see us. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA. We're back. All right, welcome back. It's the Javelina score. Flores on a quarterback keeper not being denied and making the score 6-0 to zero here as Javelina is getting ready to kick off from the south side of the field. Lotto, but uh, waiting about the 15 to 20 yard line, uh, having uh, to, to compensate for the win also. But good kick right there. Right oh, the 22. Pass the 30, 35. Number 24 for Lido. Good return all yeah. the way up to the 41 yard line. I think that's a little bit good for Lido. Lindsey Hudson. I see Lido can also move the ball. There were, uh, what was it, a couple, when, last time they had offensive, they moved the ball for a couple of first downs and they they kind of fell apart. I think uh, uh, the turnover bug kind of hit them. Right. Our, but when they were on this side, where we, I think we forced them to punt, right? Or was no, it? Yeah. No, no, the oh, fumble. Was an interception. Yeah, uh, it interception. Was an interception that stopped that drive. And then the fumble. So over turnovers here. have been killing Lido drives. Then, mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool stat there. Oh yeah, defense is just. I wish I had them in my fantasy league right now. Chris City defense on my fantasy football league right now. I'd be winning. So again, if you're watching, we do have the cash app there for Cristina Ramirez for all start. Our late. Camera lady, false. Uh, nice. yeah, no, the late game. Oh, even better. Um, we have our cash app there for our late camera yes. lady, Miss, Miss Rachel Ramirez Mireles, who passed a couple of days ago last week. 
Um, we want to say please try to help the family and, yeah. and mm -hmm. all donations are welcome and thank you. Yeah. And As you know, Hog Nation uh, is just not us. It's it's a whole community. Yes. It's a whole family. Uh, we help uh, whoever's in need. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah. Guys, yeah. So, so six minutes, eight seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Six to zero, baby. Six. Defense looking good tonight, I'm telling you. Oh, roll out. Oh, oh look at 51. Oh, uh, screen to the screen. Nice recovery by the outside corner. Yeah. I'm trying to look at the defender. I think it was number 48. Yeah. Or 40. 88. Oh. oh. It was number 40. Vargas, right? Who oh, brought the tackle, but the, I guess there was some talking. I'm just hoping it was Lido, not the Javelinas. What's the penalty? I saw the uh, flag. Our, our guys are pointing to Lido. You know, you kind of like that when uh, when our kids are saying, it wasn't me, it's them. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here comes the official. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Lido. So, so a 15-yard penalty. God, it feels good that it was right. not against us. They caught him. They yeah, caught, they caught the, them. They win us. So, Lido not helping their cause right here as 551 remaining in the second quarter. Score 6 0. Your mighty Havelinas on top. As the defense showing up tonight for Crystal City Hogzilla defense. Man, they're putting all their chips right here, and man, they are cashing in, breaking the bank right now. So here goes 21. Quarterback dropping back. And it is caught. A gain of one or two yards. Yeah. Puts it right on the 30 yard line. So it'll be third and 20. Good effort by number 11 from Lytle coming back, helping out the quarterback there. And instead of a complete, at least a yard or two uh, gain on yeah. that one. Let me get score up to here. Jordan 10 21 over Godula. Never uh, mind. They're, they got, they got the <laughs> first string going. Hondo. And Petit tied at seven nah. late in the second quarter. So, oh, they great. swallowed him up. Oh, man. That was a beautiful 23. 23, Jason Mendoza. And 34. Who's 34? 34 is Jaden Salcedo, linebacker. Yes. But, man, Jason Mendoza, linebacker, sophomore, Bobby. Coming in and just, you see that quarterback just bend backwards? <laughs> wow. And also 0-0 zero, zero tie here. Bandera versus Garrizo. And homecoming for Garrizo. What is the score? 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, nice. Uh, start of the second Good quarter. game. So, D for the happiness is number six. Norby Gar Garcia. Garcia. Hopefully, he can put something in number nine with oh, a nice beautiful punt. punt. Is Garcia away. is eyeing it. And oh, his way out of bounds. Yeah, way out of bounds. Yeah. Look at Des, Coach Battle, man. Woo, oh, loving his defense. Yes. I like that. I like yeah, that. He, he's bringing emotion and love to this sideline here, Dave. Oh, yeah. Is that enough, though? Is that I th enough? I think that should be enough. Well, man. right now it is enough, but can, can he maintain this, right? Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. So now no, no, I would like to have Linus to kind of, you know what, let's uh, – Move the ball. Hopefully, we get momentum now. Uh, now that we scored, mm -hmm. we get momentum, and let's do it again. Yeah. 4:49 remaining in the second mm -hmm. quarter. Score still six to zero. Havelina's on top. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. We got eight Tom. seconds on the play clock. Tom, Bleacher coaching sometimes makes me laugh. Four. No, we're not ready. Two. One. Oh, he got oh. it. He got it away. A screen. <laughs> As everybody came in. It wasn't a screen by design. Yeah. Uh, Seems that they're coming. Come on. Well, is that a blitz or what? Well, coming think, from the outside? I think what it was, it was uh, it was such close to the clock violation that a lot of them just gave up on the play while the play was still going. I think even Florida kind of gave up and thought it, they had gone to that uh, that violation on the clock violation. Yeah, I'm surprised that there was no flag on that. They lost, what, is that five yards? Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like the same as they would have gotten the violation anyway. Right. Here you go. Take it. Take it. Take it. There it is. It's got, it's got the corner right there. Wait. 
honestly, I like that. Oh. He didn't want to. He didn't want to go out of bounds. You know what? I'm gonna uh, break it now, back in. That, that that jet sweep we had seen it earlier in the year and kind of faded away, but I'm glad they brought it back. Mm -hmm. So yeah. first down, yeah. Avelinas. And Luna stayed patient. Yeah, on his he was just following his blocker. You gotta love that. He's the blocker was like, follow me, friend. Yeah, I remember those days. You'd be blocking everybody and nobody behind you, Bobby. Oh, no, no. <laughs> nobody behind you. You can ask my running backs. They loved yeah, you. I, I they loved you. Oh, I guaranteed five yards. <laughs> Let's go, Jarrett. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Nice move. He's taking it to the house. He's taking it to the house, Papa. Let's go, baby. No flags. No flags. No flags. No flags. No to the house. Oh, nation. Jarrett Duravaso saying, check the engine. Check the oil, Papa. This Reservation six. six. Yeah, sir. This, this engine is going in. Oh, no, that prime and all. Let's no. go. Hey, that engine has the expensive gas, not no, the cheap one. No, no, no. This little pinche high. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. 95 is a little what percentage of octane. What did I call before the half? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dave, you, you, Nostradamus oh. right here. I think we'll go for two. Or Thank you, Dave. Extra point. No, go, they're going for the field goal. And that might be the – wow, that was a beautiful run, though. Oh, what oh, happened? With contact. Was there a penalty or what? Uh, penalty against – Lyra puts the ball well, – wrong. they put the ball right at the three-yard line, so. So All we're right. going for two, guys. Oh, we're going for two here. No, no, no. I, I apologize. And now who's our kicker? Now he's, it looks like 81. Ma Maldonado, Jaden right? Maldonado. Yeah. I think he was our kicker last week as well, so. Ball spotted. Oh, that Here looks good. Go. Wow. What? Oh, yeah. Look, there's, there's, there's a, a fight flag. going on. Well. Looks like they're uh, separating them. Uh, so this will be assisting the kickoff here. It's usually the last person that retaliates, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, and, and we need to stay disciplined here. Yeah. Yeah, cool hits must prevail here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, push battle right there before you. I want uh, to know all the information. Yeah, I remember talking at work, talking to to my coworkers about sports, and we brought up hockey. What? You know how, how hockey? You know how they allow fighting? A oh lot. yeah, yeah. Like they, they're just to get it out of their system. Like they don't—they're not too quick to stop fights, no. right? Like they start going at it, and, and they'll let it go for about two, three minutes, <laughs> right? <and then laughs> go okay. And then uh, because they know they're going to the penalty box anyway, regardless. Yeah, so, yeah but, so, but it's amazing, right? It's a sport. All other sports, you know, you kind of you want to nip it on the butt kind of deal. Against the Pirates. Also, it was against the Lotto Pirates. Yeah, I think they had two penalties, I believe. What is it when they wave their hands? So we're going for two, guys. Wow. <laughs> a lot of coaches in the bleachers tonight. Oh, no. Hombre, those are the best coaches right there. Esos son los, los buenos, buenos. <laughs> esos, they hey. know the referee book, the handbook, inside and out. Como que. And thanks for the Athletic Booster Club to, you know, so helping you know. us out here, even though we paid for it. But at least they went down and got us some food. And no, no, exactly. We, that, we all pitched in up here. They are up. Even though we are in peak physical shape, we can go downstairs, but we choose no, not no, to. No, no, no. I went down and I went back to just for the sake of it. I only have energy to go down hey, once. Why the ball isn't at the one yard line, though? I don't get this. I don't things that make you go You're not supposed to be on a three. Oh, 88. Did not get it. Oh. That was a good play design there, but. Let's take a quick little break, guys. Right back. I think right back. you've got a hefty truck loan weighing you down, you can lighten the load at your local credit union. Our auto rates are hard to beat. Apply online today. We belong to you. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA.
back. All, all right, we're back here. The other guy's Bocho. <laughs> we're Three jamming minutes here. and 47 seconds remaining. Having us scored again, had an opportunity for a two point conversion, failed. So we're taking the lead 12 to zero here, guys. Um, still good feeling having us are dancing to this music. It's it's moving music, it makes you dance. So with that being said, I think they're gonna assist the, what, what was going on here? On the personal foul? But it wasn't against us. Unless it was a, pen, a personal foul at, at the Portugal conversion? Yeah, that, I didn't see. Uh, what, 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 what? I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know. Wow, well, I've never seen this before. Maybe it's personal foul with the music. Maybe they don't like the music. This does not make sense. A lot of things will make sense. This is, instead of the 40, we're taking a 30 yard penalty. Where does that come from? <laughs> I, I've never seen. So it wasn't against Lido. But I thought it was against Lido. I mean, too, but because we did. We did So number 24 <laughs> takes it to the Havelina 29. Yard I don't think I've ever seen two. that. When did it kick it off? In the 20 or 10? Almost the 15. Wow. From the 10. It was kicked from, from the, the 10. 10. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I see the team kick right at the 10. Wow. Just when you think you've seen everything. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that you could combine both penalties. One more penalty would have been a safety for, for Lido. Right. Because normally you... You decline one except the other. Uh huh. Not both won't. Right. Maybe you're using like XFO rules or some other right. league or clinic, CFL, <laughs> Canadian Football League. So here we go. You see, we're looking to the right. Number seven playing the ball. Oh, no. Nathaniel. Wait, yeah. no, no. Yeah. I'm just glad Nathaniel was able to spot that ball because he, he, he looked like he was ready to make a play on that. And that's what you want to see. We got 336 in the play clock in the second quarter. So plenty of time for Lido to kind of move the ball here, too. No, yeah, Lido's got the win behind her back. So uh -huh. It looks like they got all time It's a little right. bit easier to make those passes, but this one, too much mustard on it behind that one. Yeah, that was, that, was a, that was a laser. It was like a cannon right there. So second and ten here for the Lido Pirate. Or maybe the air kind of affected the throw. Maybe it pushed it further. Another screen. Mendoza coming in. Oh, <laughs> Luna blocking that. Come on, like uh, not come on, like um, came on a tumble, shaking his finger, not in my house. Now Mendoza putting the pressure on the left side, but Luna blocking the ball. Yes, reacting to it. And I like it. He kind of timed it. Did you see that? It was kind of being patient. You know, when he can you imagine if he uh -huh. would have one-handed it. Man, I'm not taking it to the house. So here we go. Third and ten. Three minutes thirty seconds on the clock. Score 12 to 0. Mighty Havelina's on the board tonight. Hand off to the right side. Oh, that's a holding. A lot of holding there. And we might decline. Yeah, this. decline oh. that. Uh oh. Or push him back. I think there were like two offensive linemen holding. We have senior number 40, Michael Vargas. Michael Vargas, man. Michael Vargas is. Defensive end on the outside. I'm just disappointed he's a senior. I know. So Decline. fourth down now. Well, what are you doing here? Well, they're going to go for it. Lyle's going to go for it right I, here. I, I would have pushed him back. Me too. I think so. I'll push him back I, also. I'd rather have third, third and 20, 25. Whatever. And then maybe get a sack in the back. Yeah. Maybe pin him, Crystal. Because you make him one-dimensional, it's going to be a screen. or It's going to be a throw pass. for sure. Here, you, you get to do the screen and try to be successful. That's a flag. Uh -huh. There you go. Fumble. Oh, fumble. Fumble. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Don't fight for the ball. Oh, they got it? Uh, yeah. But he goes out of bounds at the 30. I don't know if you can advance him, Bumble, can you? Yeah, you're right. They were on the ground, though, right? Yeah, yeah no, they can't advance it. Now there's a there's a flag over here on the on the, this side of the field, but it was a it's false start. Yeah. 
I'm sure Lyle was hoping you should have stopped the play. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe so. What happened? Why you let the play go if mm -hmm. it was a false start? Oh, the, well, the umpire's letting them know over there. Well, he's saying first oh, down. Oh, no, first down. Let's go. So, right, 254 go. remaining in the third go, quarter. Go. Go, go. So, now the Hawks on offense, first and 10. Trips to the left here. Sanchez, the only tailback behind him. Good block. Give to RJ Guevara for a gain of five or six yards. We have our band director coming up here, Robert. Oh, no, he's going to perform. Ready for the, oh, yeah. the halftime show. And congratulations for the you know, yeah. Mighty Hamlin Band. They did great there. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Good job. He, he's up here. We're letting them know we're part of the Hamlin band. band, right? Awesome job. Oh, no. Advancing in the first part of the competition. Yeah, they went to the finals, but oh, man. You know, they couldn't go to state. Yeah, but it's out of 30 some bands, getting to where they were at. Yeah, so second and four. Hand off to number eight, Reese. And just a voice. Uh, eight, One thing that I found out talking about the band, I just recently found out that remember, uh, they always go to every other year, the, the band go to you know, right, competition. Right. Now it's going to do it every year now. Really? Oh, yeah, now it's every year. Which Good makes them. sense though. Well, like it's not like the football team go to the state championship every other year. A lot of kids miss out on it though. Yeah, it, it yeah. is. Exactly. So I, I, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that rule change or whatever that was. Yeah, the rule change. So now they're going to compete every year. So here we go. Uh, nice. Option play. Cool. Fumble. He cuffed Fumble the ball. Sanchez. I don't know. If he was able to. Nope. He's out of bounds. So the flag in the backfield looks like a holding. How much time left? A minute and 40 seconds, Robert. Maybe we should just kneel it and kind of no, pack it in no, half time. No, no, no. I, I don't know, man. I'm just, I just, I'm so no. desperate for this win. <laughs> I wanted want to do weird things. You're, just, you're so conservative. I'm conservative yeah, now. I'm like, whole pedal to the metal, man. Uh, kneel no, it. Come on, go no. on like water boy, kneel it. <laughs> just uh, oh, uh, the defense. against Lytle. Against Lytle. Oh, so wait, no, no, I like this, it now. This could be a first and 10 <laughs> opportunity for the Javelinas here. I don't know. I had this moment of insanity. Yeah, I'm back. I'm hungry, Omas. Yeah, that that pirate's discipline is is, is, what is, it? What is coming it? to hurt him here. What does that mean? The, the targeting. 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 Oh. Oh wow. That was really? a targeting part penalty. So that that might get the kid the kid kicked out. Normally, so you normally, yeah, you're right. Normally in the college you do review, but there's no review here. So and they're coming to blitz on the outside. You got to let go of the ball quick. Lord is. That move by Honestly, it could have oh. ended up a lot worse. Right, you know, seven so. four. I don't know why they're not attack, right there. Quick slants. Uh, they're blitzing everybody. Slant, slant uh, the receivers. Yeah, the or, middle is wide open for the Crystal City oh, Avalanche right I, now. I, I, I always feel like the quarterback, if he has a, a defensive end coming at him, he, as long as he knows he's coming, Dave, he needs to be able to play him and, and then go, you know, shake him off like a running back. But he got more than a defensive end coming in. He got <laughs> linebackers coming in too. Yeah, but to the edges. I, I say attack him. As yeah. a quarterback, you need to know I like how to Norby right him. there on the linebacker. Yeah, he's got number 17, though. 17 is one of their star players. <sighs> There's Flores breaking a tackle. Breaking one more. Yeah, I think he takes it to the 20. 21, so it'll be third and seven. 45 seconds remaining, guys. So let's see what we do here. And people are agreeing that penalty was ridiculous early and uh, <laughs> when we put it over there. All right. Uh, I just never seen compounded penalties double like that. Yeah, yeah. Double. yeah I, I know. It's uh it's crazy. So doubles to both sides. Eight seconds on the time clock. We have Sanchez, five seconds. The tailback. Let it go, let it go, let it go. He let's right he's got number Oh, oh, somebody. That was a campfire in volleyball terms, Robert. As Everybody around it. Yeah. Number nine or 84 made a plate for it. Well, and, and both of them could make a plate. Well, I know. And I think, I don't know that was, they ran the wrong route because normally it should be two receivers in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> right? I think, I think the inside man should have gone more so, to well, the field. Sometimes you just say, just throw it up there. Just throw it up. But maybe right. so. In my house, and we played let's the take a break yard. Yeah, let's take a break. We take ran break. the same routes, Robert. No, 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 I understand. Okay.
Okay, we're back. Here we go. All right. So, there we go. fourth down. down. And seven. There you go. Screen play. Oh, he drops it. Incomplete pass. Not, not able to withstand that. So, it'll be Lido ball. First and 10. 34 seconds, Robert. Now, it was the perfect yeah. play for the uh, yeah. screen, but execution uh, execution wasn't there. Failed. It failed. Yeah. Yes. And that might be important. <laughs> yeah. Execution means everything. Right? Yeah, it means everything. Because, I mean, it's, it's like uh, the Kansas City Chiefs against the Niners. Oh. It was a third and 20. Oh, look at and that. they did a screen. Dave, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving David the, my back. <laughs> I, I can still hear him talking behind me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can bring up Kansas City I'm just references for a right. scenario right there. Hey, but I love that he's a Texas Tech yeah, there, graduate, right? and from uh, Tyler, Texas, too. Yeah, I was in Lubbock last time, and oh, I, I, there was a bunch of artwork on on Patrick Mahomes. On, um, oh, Mahomes. going deep! Ah, and number seven, you he had the he had the right right uh, position for getting the ball, but that ball is just thrown way over. Yeah, this guy has a cannon of an arm, man. He just needs to control it a little bit. Yeah. Well, I, maybe the wind behind him, Rob. Yeah. It's pushing oh, that ball an extra ten yards. It's kind of hard to adjust. Possible. It's not that windy. Is no, but it? He, no, look he at the flags. Those flags are, you know, they're they're like. Oh, look at this, uh, Those flags are like hundred oh, feet tall. Oh my man. <laughs> Mr. Einstein Mr. is Einstein. here. <laughs> the legend man the here for our the, band. The myth. The man, the, the legend. Yeah, the legend, Mr. <laughs> Einstein here for the having the band. We, ha we have Puro, Puro royalty up here in oh the press man. box. We're, in, we're, we're oh amongst no. kings here. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, wait, interception. 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 Oh. Number 22 <laughs> for the Havalina. Yeah, that's our well, second interception. Well, one time. That's yeah. our second interception. Second interception and two uh, fumbles. Wow. Wow. So, so Foss, he's a, Pause for a great interception there. How much time in the clock? 21 seconds. 21 seconds. seconds. Maybe two, throw, two throws to the end zone. Do we have any timeouts left? Maybe one? One timeout. One okay, timeout. Maybe, maybe. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to need this, Bob. No, no, no. Here, no. Oh. Earlier, yes, not not anymore. We're I wonder what changed. Well, the penalty on, on Lytle earlier. That, that just gave <laughs> you that. That gave me hope right there. So we're going with trips to Come the on. left. Best play you got. Reese. Best. I see another screen. I think so too. Another Best screen. play you got right here. Practice makes perfect. Right. Dial. I mean, the, the defensive line looks like they're going in anyway. Might What's as well. <laughs> What's going on? Make, make, make it a screen play. Zero true. At least that's what I would be running. I like that matchup over there in the far Time out, Lido, guys. Okay, good, good. All right, let's take a okay. quick break. Uh, uh, sponsors, and we'll be right back with the other guys' sports show. Here we're we back. Go. We're back. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 21 seconds remaining in the second quarter here. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Ball spotted go, at the Lytle's 42-yard line. Go. Carlos Fuller is in a shotgun formation. He's looking right. Let's it go. Uh, Perfect. No, no. Oh, yeah, my God. Oh. Overthrown. Uh, not too bad. Only I six like seconds off the clock. I like that matchup outside right there. That number, what is it, number six? Is it Norby? Number seven? Is it seven? Looks like number nine. So we, we got. Right. So honestly, for Lido to take a timeout, they kind of did a favor for us, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let us I like that here. matchup again. I like that matchup again. Try it again. Same. On the other side. Go. Timeout, 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 timeout. No, no. The first down should stop the clock. I like a play okay. now. The corner on the opposite side. 
Let's take a time out, Bobby. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, we we're back, we're back. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Six seconds remaining. Ball spotted at the Lytle 24-yard line. That'd be the last play before the first half. See what they dial up here. Coach Garcia, the offensive coordinator. Looks the pressure's going to come in from the outside, the edges. They're going to... Looking left. Oh, Florida's looking back. Touchdown! 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 Wow. <laughs> Guevara, it looked like it was Guevara, right? Number five. Let's wow. See. Number five. Number nine. RJ Guevara. Number eight. Yeah, that was a beautiful throw and oh, catch. Eric Ruiz. Eric Ruiz. Man, we throwing out names like crazy, right? But Eric Ruiz with a great comeback, comeback to, catch. Yeah. On his knees there, there was there was some great, great football right there. So we'll go for the field goal at this point. We'll see. Uh, so far, we're trying to find our first extra point here. And there it is. Looks right. It looks good. Wow. Right down the middle. There it is. There it is. Oh no, that's what I'm talking about. Little green and gold. Green and gold to a dead and cold, baby. Woo. How much time? Oh, that's it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, well, we're gonna uh, show the half entertainment. Okay. Except for the, 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 the dancers, the dancing team. Yeah, yeah starlets. So keep it here with the other guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put you right now.
support Mighty Javelinas. Go, go Hawks, go! go. On a car loan with a little get up and go, our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Border Federal Credit Union, serving the community since 1954. Stop by, give us a call, or visit us online at borderfcu.com. Insured by NCUA. This week's section of the week is the tubas. Freshman of the week is Kellyanne Castano. Color Guard member of the week is Andrea Garza. And the band member of the week is Alex Medina. Tonight, the band is pleased to present their entire UIL marching show, The Good Old Days, including Movement Young, Shane, and Family, which is dedicated to our band seniors. Brass Ensemble members are Katie Rubel, Richard Pollock, Isaiah Levin, Stephen Grigsby, Austin Beezer, Andres Arredondo, and Landon Wilson. Flute soloist is Vanessa Mercado. Narrator is Chase Blue. These will all be stories someday. Our pictures will become old photographs. We will all become someone's mom or dad. But right now, these moments are not stories.
in moments when you know you are not a sad story. You are alive. And in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. And now, ladies and gentlemen, an announcement from the good old days. are the good old days. are our good old days.
everybody, I'm Larry Ramirez with Case Outdoor Sports, and you are watching the Other Guys Sports Show.
All right, Hog Nation, welcome back to the second half of, of Mighty Havelina football as your Mighty Havelina is taking an early, strong lead, 19-0 to 0 over the Lytle Pirates. Now, the first half of football, our defense put us in a lot of great positions uh, for our offense to finally start kicking in. Now, I don't, I don't think they're on all cylinders yet, but hopefully... The little adjustments they make, the little momentum they took into the half, that might just take us over the edge and go kicking in all cylinders. What do you think? I think so too. You know, I want the Javelinas to come like a mentality of 0-0, zero, zero, to have a fire yeah. on them, and they'll be satisfied with this lead. Here. And, I, and I think you're right, Robert, where when you're winning, it's much more fun. Well, you, you, of you, course. You, you, <laughs> yes. It's much more fun, and... and when you're having fun, you start doing great things. Well, I think so. You you have a uh, more swagger. Yeah, and your swagger your, exactly. Your your ankle that you rolled last week doesn't hurt as much. Doesn't hurt anymore. Uh huh. You don't get tired as easily. No, so. it is. And, and we talked about it. This is an important game. You want the Howlins to win to have to have momentum in the off season to say, you know what? If we get it together, this is the result yeah. of a win. Oh yeah. So here we go. The Havilland will be kicking off on the north side of the field. And a line drive kick caught by number 24 down to 30, 35. Oh, he's got an opening on the left side. So it looks like Lytle's ready to play. Uh, a touchdown saving from 81. Jaden Maldonado. So for sure, now Lido, you know, looks like they were listening in, and and they, you know, you know what? They also have passion, you know. They yeah, have no they, quit they, on themselves. So. Well, they they came in uh, right before the half, and they they got into a little group and started doing a little swagger left and right there. So you know they're locked in right now. So let's see what the having a defense. Hopefully they still have that hungry mentality right now yeah. and not give up on anything that Lido can bring to them. Again, it looks like bunch formation there for Lytle. It looks like they're going to go ahead and go again, like in the beginning, try to kill the clock here under center. Give it to the tailback on the left side. Big hole, but stop quickly for a gain of about maybe two, three yards only. Popped really yeah. good by number 23. Yeah, Mr. Mendoza. Mendoza. Linebacker, sophomore, though. Wow. Now he he's been instrumental to this having yeah. He was out a couple of weeks to, due to an arm injury or shoulder or something like right. that. But I'm glad to see him back. Yeah, him and number eleven, both underclassmen, sophomore and juniors. <coughs> Here we go, under center again, Lytle. Again. Oh good, oh, good hole on the oh, left side. On the outside. They're making a stop for the Helena number forty. 
So it looks like Lido, you know, they got Lido a, making thing. some adjustments right there. <laughs> exactly. And it seems that the Javelinas are kind of, uh, you know what, kind of relaxing a little bit. Yeah. They're doing the opposite of what that's we were what just I, saying. That's what I don't like to see. They gotta have that hunger back again. Yeah, I would like to that ha urgency. I would like to have a, a, a somebody step up, you know, rally the crowd, the defense. Come on, let's go, let's get do this. You know what I mean? Some sort of energy right now on the defense. Here we go, first down for Lytle. That's the ball spotted right at the ten yard line. Oh, oh nice great. tackle oh. by fifty one. <laughs> now fifty one else playing now. Now not playing ball. That's what you need, Diego Rivera. God dog it. That was nice. I don't think it was even blocked. No, he no, no. came straight at him. The explosion off the edge right there. That was a great job. Yeah, no, hopefully, Diego. yeah hopefully the other players can kind of get fired up. You know what? I want to he, hit he's two. Ready, he's ready to play. So I want to hit two. I'm going to step it up. So a loss of about five yards there, 45 yards. Ball spotted at the 15-yard line as Lido again in tight formation. Bunched up formation. Power eye formation. Quarterback under center. Oh, 50. Oh, man. Oh, fumble. Yeah. We get the ball. We get the ball. We get the ball. We got the ball. We got the ball. Yeah, we got the ball. ball. We got the ball. Here we go, baby. Here we go. 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 The Hogs in the defense woke up. Oh. Maybe they were too well rested. <laughs> well, so here we go, the offense now. Let's see offensively we can start moving this ball here. Sanchez, the tailback. We're going with doubles for both sides. And Putin and Hondo all tied up at 14 each. Oh. Great defensive job there by number 25. Right, getting on the face of Carlos Flores and blocking that ball. Almost picking it off. Again, we, we put that catch up out there to help the family of Rachel Ramirez, uh, one of our camera ladies that passed away. For their know, fight with cancer. Yeah, so in, in tribute to her, please donate to the family. We appreciate the other guy's sports show. So here we go, 9.50 remaining in the third quarter as Havlin Hill recover a fumble. A hand off. Oh, nice Sanchez. blocking. Sanchez, yeah, oh. That's oh, Sanchez nice carrying. That's a first down. He carried number 23 for Lotto for oh, a couple yeah. yards, man. That was awesome there. That's what happens when Caleb gets momentum and he gets that full speed going. He is hard to bring yeah, down. No drag players. Look at that. Right there, contact, and he dragged him for about four yards. Nice run by Caleb Sanchez. Oh, we got trips on. No, yeah, we got trips on the left side. Single receiver on the right side. Flores under center. Oh. Oh, oh 14. 14. Rio was not aware. You're right. At the last second, he tried to grab it, but you, you said he was a little surprised the ball was going in his direction. They got to be ready. Yeah, Flores is on a groove right now. Yeah, but regardless, you, you're supposed to expect the ball every, every time. play. Yep. A exactly. That's a rule of thumb. Oh, Reese gained some corner action on the side. I like Reese when he runs the ball. Mm -hmm. Great job. I think enough for a first down. Uh, uh, no, they're gonna. Yeah, they're moving. They're moving. Yeah, moving the chains. Good All job. Right. All right. One, two, three. First down for the Havelinas. Oh no, they're not. are they? Oh, the chains man. stop moving. They're saying no. <laughs> Look at that man. What? This chain. Oh wow, that they. Wow. They moved. Now they brought it back. I guess it's saying that they stepped off earlier. Huh. Okay, here okay. we go. So third down for the Havelinas here. Now two backs behind quarterback. Hand off to number 35. That's Joe Reese. That's a first Joe Reese. And that is enough for a first mm -hmm. down. So the Reese combination there, speed and power. Right now, is the one-two punch right there. 
And also, congratulations was talking about the volleyball. They did great. Yeah. They went to the by district round, but you know, fortunately, they lost against Putit. But it was a great season for Lady Havalinas. Yeah. Let me show them over here. Well, after this play, I'll show them. Number 14. Oh, oh he, he got, got it. 14. He could take it to the home. He's taking it to the house. Take it to the is house. It, it Hog Nation. It looked like he almost had a pick there. I thought it was picked off. Me too. I think it got tipped by the defender, but great concentration to 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 uh, wow to, to catch it and take it to the house. That's like what seventy yards, maybe. Yes, fifty yard touchdown. Sophomore Ricky Rios. I'm glad to see him coming back next year. Yes. Great play there. Gives us six more points, Robert. So we're, we're at what? 25? 25. We're waiting for the extra point here. Let's see what they do here. I know last one we were successful. Let's see if we can keep it going here. And it has to be a heartbreaker for the Lido Pirates knowing that they were oh, moving the ball. Up. They can bring it back. No. So no, so good. Let's take a commercial break, guys. And be right back with the other guys for A car loan with a little get up and go our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you border federal credit union serving the community since 1954 stop by give us a call or visit us online at borderfcu.com insured by ncua We're back, we're back. All right, welcome back. Here we go. Now making it a 25? Yes. No, 26. No, 25. 25, they missed. They missed. Oh, they missed. they missed the field goal. So 25 to 0. And the scoreboard looks like it's going crazy right there. It's, it's passing. It's never had so many points on the Havelina side, so. I know it's freaking out. It's freaking out a I, I don't know how to function this. This might look like the Matrix. We, we might be in the, inside the Matrix. Yeah, ball picked up right at the nine, number 17. And he got to hold. Still running. And, and finally brought down. Held at the 28-yard line. Let me bring a picture here of the Lady Havelinas. Uh, just give him, uh, you can see him there. A the little seniors. update. Uh, we have Poteet, 14, losing to Hondo, 21 in the fourth quarter. And... And the Spurs are winning 85 to 80 over the Clippers. Uh, the Lakers will be playing at 9.30, just in case, Bobby, against the Utah Jazz. Just in case you wanted to know. Who's that? The Lakers. What's the score? The who? Uh, no, 9.30 they play uh, against oh, the Jazz. Yeah. But that way, no. Lakers. The Lakers are on a roll, Papa. They're from Chicago, right? Or where are they from? Uh, Twin about? Cities. They're, they're Indianapolis. In the, uh, they're, Seattle, they're America's right? Team. They're, Seattle? They're, say, they're America's team. <laughs> okay, you okay. Team has purple. I don't like them. Yeah. That's a big, bad That's, taste in my mouth. It does. Here we go. Heavenly defense looking to stop Lido, but no. Nope, they're running back looking for some room. Oh, but a flag over by the far side of the sidelines over there by Lido's side. Looks like more like a holding or a clipping on that side. Rolling is the ball against the Pirates. Now, holding on the Lytle Pirates, so that'll be 10 yards back for Lytle. Lytle having trouble to get some type of rhythm on their offense. One thing that, uh, you know, facing Lytle, I don't know if you recall, Bobby, I know a few years ago when Crystal made it to playoffs and they played at Lytle, and, uh, man, Lytle did a number on us in, in the mm -hmm. playoffs. When Coach Battle was there, is that when? You no, there was a while back. I think when Manny was there, wasn't he? Inside handoff, there. Now in the number 81, James Maldonado. 
Oh. What was 88 that? and 68. David, Monday. now that uh, we're at basically at the doorsteps of the playoffs, what kind of team are you kind of looking forward to oh in the playoffs? God. I know Devonport. We talk about Devonport. Yeah, from Dav I, I want to still continue to go check out Davenport. I, yeah. know, I know Bobby has some type of uh, – uh, he's a fan now, a big fan of Davenport. Yeah, after, me too. And also, after, I'm curious about Divine to see Divine, how much noise yeah, it made. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. All those are interesting mm -hmm. uh, teams to go see. I'd like to go see Jordanton as well, see how far yeah, they Jordanton and the Eagle Pace Eagles are playing a great season. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I think they lost one game. Yeah, so – uh, so those are the teams locally that I do want to go check out. Uh, of course, Davenport coming in from San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I know Bobby has a, is a fan of one of the – what number over there, Bobby? Uh, number 25. Winchester. No, or, no, no uh, it wasn't Winchester. I, I apologize, guys. I was looking in the field. What were you guys talking about now? Uh -oh. uh, playoffs coming in. Davenport. Uh, Remember, Davenport oh, was yeah. the number, the defensive man. Number Winchester. Or? No, no, no. Winchester, that's from Hondo. That's the running back from Hondo. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll recall. Yeah, he was wearing his brother's jersey yeah, that game. 44, right? Yeah, so I know, like you said, David, those, those are the games around the area. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. So, so they start next week already to play. Uh, exactly. They're going to start. I've heard there will be a lot of games on Thursday for whatever reason. I think they're having trouble locating stadiums. stadiums. That's well, always they're more issue. than welcome to use Christmas City Stadium here. I wish they would, though. I you think know, we can accommodate. I, I, would, I would show up here and watch the game. doesn't matter what it is. Yeah. Hand off to number 20, bent immediately by the Havilah. Because Havilah. even though the, the turf that we have is a little old, but it's still it's top shape. Oh, yeah. I remember what was it a few years ago? Well, we had the original the original turf. Yeah. It had some, like, big oh, holes over there. A lot the, of holes. Right. Going, it, it was, was weird. A lot of tears. Uh-huh. But I think they've maintained it, and I think it's ready for an update as well, so... Maybe by next year we'll have a good updated feel. Good place for these kids to play in. So third down and long for Lytle. Oh, I jumped over. Free play? No, no, no. And, and also, as a community service, be sure to go out, out there and vote. You know, I know some of the youngsters, they don't tend, tend to vote, but go out there. Please go out to vote. Red. Nation. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is that Kansas City like, yeah, uh, like a song? Yeah, Kansas City. Oh. Kansas City. Kansas City. Yeah, it's, it's exactly what I know. Honestly, I didn't know they had like, like a, a song. A, a song oh, we have a theme song. Everybody theme wants song. to sing a song about the Chiefs right now. Do the Cowboys have one, Bobby? Uh, no. I might not know. I think no. it's just the national anthem. <laughs> Because America's team. Put America's team. Uh, I like and, that. And the Cowboys put America's team. No, no. I don't know about the, I don't know about the Braves. No, no. Yeah, come on. You Devils. started great. Cowboys, you went downhill quick. <laughs> <laughs> a screen. Incomplete pass. There you go. I like I like that. Luna going up to, or who is it? Oh, no, oh ref, ref, Yeah. At the battle right there, the AD going to the real animated. So. Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, no, he's a cool guy. We got to interview him at the end of the season. Though. Yeah, we had a great interview at the beginning of the season, though. Like you said, maybe you'll catch him again. I know we to uh, the band director was like, Hey, where's, where's my interview? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, they're fortunate. Hopefully, they didn't, no flag in the. Kind of make ready? contact with the punter, the whole flag. Well, they yeah. they didn't. They just tapped him. Got a little little love tap. Yeah. Little tap 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 tap. <laughs> so we don't know the time on the clock since our scoreboard has gone wild, wild and give them eighty points there. It's so I wonder where the clock is going to be held at the referee uh, on the floor. The, uh, I think field? Palomo has the clock uh, right now. Uh, Salas and the clock. Well, it's it's not manning the camera. Never mind. <laughs> he abandoned disappeared. camera. Abandoned camera. Se los fue. Se los fue. And that note, we're looking for application for next year for yeah. camera crew. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, there we go. It's a nice Jay little 
Jared Orovaso for a first down. It looked kind of kind of uh, sloppy at the beginning, but oh, there it is. Yeah, you know, it, it, Jacob, watch. Look at that uh, tank clock. We got 80 points there. Yeah, and, uh, thanks, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, the one attention. No, no, he's paying attention. It's top notch. Oh, see, Lakers are going to be playing at Crypto Stadium, formerly Staples. Oh. oh, yeah, you have to throw it. There's a lot of pressure there on floaters and the quarterback. Vargas unable to have that one. The middle is wide open. Yeah, Carlos needs to trust himself here. Oh, old time band playing. Oh, yes. Maybe it's going to be in tribute. So, so, so uh, I'm guessing that's the Einstein. Fourth, is already the fourth quarter then? I don't know. Is it? I don't so think it's so. The, it's the eighth quarter right now if you look at the scoreboard. Gee. We, we, we might be a dream within a dream, like Inception. Yeah. Like Inception? <laughs> the movie? The, the movie? The this dream? is Matrix. Oh, my God. Yeah. We're in the Great machine. Great defensive stop there by Lytle, man. Penetration. Three players from Lytle back there. I think they were just waiting for them to give the ball to Caleb to before they make the tackle, but they were already in position to make the tackle. Four minutes, 52 seconds. What's remaining. the game break on Hondo and Poteet? Is it still 14 up? No, actually, Hondo is already... Gain the lead? Yeah, it was 14 to 7. Oh, okay. I thought it was 14 all. So, third and 13. We're going with no empty backfield. And good quick play to Jared. Jared. Oh, first, oh, close to a first down. Yeah, I think he's going to be a first. First down. Even Jimmy Aguilar is saying, go Jazz. <laughs> Jimmy you want to block him or are you going to leave him Yeah, there? I think Jimmy needs to be blocked. That, is, <laughs> that goes against all, all content. <laughs> it says E.J. Gonzalez de Cuero is winning state again. Yeah, it's quite possible. Yeah, it's Cuero, very possible. Yeah. Cuero, Cuero is a good team. I hope yeah. they make it to San Antonio some area. would like to go see him. Friend uh, Oliver, Roy Oliver. It says Divine playing Thursday. There's no, there's no Rudy. Who's Divine playing on the playoffs? Mm -hmm. Quarterback, Quarterback keep keeper. 35. 35. Joel Reese. Joel Reese. Gains of six yards. Needs to get to the 12 for a first down, so second and four. And the band, you know, Bobby, oh I think man, the band is listening to you, Bobby. They're, they're going. They had no break in the third quarter. You don't think so? No. no. Well, you know what? Maybe that's why you thought it was the fourth quarter, but the band's playing. Right. That's, that's, that's the confusion you're having. So Poteet, uh, 14, Hondo Owls, 21. Late, well, eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Uh, Reese again on a wild cat. <laughs> Reese. I like the last couple runs Reese has had. Two minutes, 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Yeah, and Flores is over here getting a water break. You have to keep, keep hydrated. He's ready for the for the uh, touch and run here. That's right. Uh -huh. For the quarterback sneak. And Reese again on a oh, wildcat offense right here. Give it to Reese also. You know. Uh, pitch out probably to Caleb. Wow, hard to bring down. Ah, he's a <laughs> bulldozer, <laughs> man. Uh -huh. Come on, like I thought uh, it could be a tackle for a loss there at the end, but managed to put through. The thing is, once he starts with – you know, momentum going downfield, he is hard to bring down. And he's done. Coach is like, hey, tap me out, coach. <laughs> no, oh, he's no, he's still in there. Get in there. Where are you going? <gasps> oh, that's three points to me. <laughs> Trust me, once you score a touchdown. You know, look at that. I'm all, tired. All, you're, all that tiredness goes away. Everybody be careful. It'll keep up. Hold on. Still kind of, oh, there you go. Thanks. So I think you're going to go to the right side on this one. Yeah, trips left. Wildcat offense. Oh, oh. bobbles the ball. Oh, oh shoot. late pitch. Is that a lateral? It might be a lateral. Bobble yeah. On the yeah, it looks like they're going to give it to a lateral. 
Because uh, if it's a, like a straight, uh, in other words, if, if they're, uh, what was it, uh, not a lateral, but forward, you cut it to a side, it's considered a lateral. Maybe we can catch it on replay. Keep in mind, if you're in YouTube, you can rewind it yourself. You know, you guys make the call. I'm going to see if we can catch it on the rewind. <laughs> Ruiz on a pitch out. <laughs> He's just, just taking it. Right here, here, take it. So what's that? And uh, that's why he's not a starting quarterback. And that's what was that? La was that ladder or four pass? <laughs> I, yeah. I didn't get to see it. I need to put it on on YouTube. I guess wow. it's freezing right now down down there. Oh, the camera. Yeah, let me change it. Let me see if I can put it out there a little bit. So defense has really Lido really pinned deep yeah. in their own territory right now. Somebody saying Lido's record Lido's record coming to this game is one and eight. Yeah. And. No, no, I'm answering a comment. Oh, that's a safety. No, no, I think he got out. Uh oh, it might be a safety now. Nope, no, nope, they cut him down. You see it inside the one. Oh, no way, yeah, man. Uh -huh. I don't think he broke the plane. It was, you're right, it Whoa. was really extremely close. Luckily, we have a little delay on uh, on this. Oh, he must have, he might have stuck no, out. He, he kept running. Exactly, he went back. Yeah, he was let go. The whistle wasn't blown. That was crazy, man. That that was a safety. Yeah, because yeah, the whistle wasn't blown. Yeah, he, he escaped. Yeah. You know, and he ran forward. Yeah. So if they would have blown it dead and it was forward progress, but it wasn't forward progress, he was tackled so, in the end zone. That's a safety. So Hondo 28, Poutine 14, about six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Wow, we, that's we, an upset. We ran out of the red flag, so we cannot review this play. <laughs> So third down here, ball spotted like at the four-yard line. I think coach is sending everybody here right now. You got to. Yeah, you have to. The kitchen sink too. Hell yeah, grandma and grandpa too. Baby with the bath, bath water. And that's the end of the third quarter, ladies and okay. gentlemen, as the mighty Halloweenas take a 25-0 lead starting the fourth quarter. So we'll be right back with the other guys' sports show. We're back. All right, Hulk Nation, welcome back. Here we go. Fourth down or third down? I can't. Well, fourth down right here. Looks like Lotto's going to punt, but way deep in their own end zone. So, deep for the Havanias, who do we have here, Dave? We have number seven. Oh, nice punt. Garcia. Oh, he wants it. Go, Norby. And he takes out at the 49, 48. No flags? Okay, we're good. Yeah. So the start of the fourth quarter, guys, uh, looks like Chris City pretty much control of this game. Uh, their offense 
Javelinas is what I'm talking about. A little slow to start, but I think the defense kind of cranked that up for them, giving them really good field position several times, and not only that, giving that momentum for that offense. And I think once that, uh, once the offense tasted the end zone, they wanted it more. They wanted it more. And uh, you can tell the kids. I, I want to know if Flores is going to be quarterback again because I still uh, see. No, Flores is there, number four, unless okay. they put him as a wide out. Right, because I see 35 as, oh, he, he's a wide out now. Oh, what? He's like, coach. <laughs> he's tired. He's tired, coach. Maybe he can be a great blocker as well. He so is. Co I, I coach is meeting there, a referee meeting there. What are we doing? Was there a flag? I know. It's weird. I, I didn't see it. The start I of the fourth quarter, now there's a flag? Hijo. I have a doctor's appointment Monday. I'm going to check my eyes, man. No, no meter, guys. <laughs> I'm not trying to what look at my it? phone, which like two feet away from me. On sportsman like conduct? Lido again. On both? Oh, an injection. An injection. On who? On Lido, Crystal? On Lido. Lido. So we uh, both. I didn't see it. Yeah, we both have a, a player being injected in this game. Who got injected? For having his number 88. Oh, he's gone? Yeah. On the last play, I think he was being provoked there by one of the linemen, and and the ref first he gave our guy a penalty, and then he, as the guy was walking away talking to the ref, the ref threw his cap out, and it was a penalty against them. But it's looks like uh, Battle wants a explanation. Did, yeah, I did talk to the head ref there. And one thing. Uh, Talking about, uh, I was, you know, I'm gonna bring up the Astros. You know, yesterday I was watching the game, man. It was, it was an exciting game. Astros managed to take the lead now. Yeah. Oh, Flores has a great opening there. Oh, flag in the backfield. Oh, it looks like a holding. Yeah, that's in the area for holding. Holding or or illegal block. Yeah, it was a great game there, Robert. You were watching the game also? Hey, yeah. did you did you know about the controversy when they won the the World Series the first time in Houston? Right. I didn't know. They finally explained it to me. I didn't even oh. know there was a claim about, yeah, the, the, the about, about the trash the can. Yeah. The trash can that it will call out the, the pitches. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. No, but it's, I, I root for the Phillies, Oda. No. <laughs> well, if you Remember, ain't, if you're if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Exactly. I was going to say that. <laughs> Good job. But they got caught. They got caught. The head in the cookie jar. <laughs> At the end, of, I say, well, you know. We, in the corner. We think we know what's coming. Oh. Oh, nice hard run there. Who was that? Uh, 12. Caleb? Yeah. Caleb. Nice hard run, Caleb. So, so he brings it back. So was that a penalty on the hell? Why were we backed up that far back? Man, I'm like. Well, that was. Remember it was a flag. The uh, personal foul? Oh, it was a personal foul? No, 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 no. Ah, the holding. The holding. Right. Yeah, holding. Yeah, the holding. But there's okay. another foul here, so I think it was going to be face mask. Personal, personal foul, foul. Yeah, face, face mask. mask. So yeah. it'll be a first down at 15 yards. 15 to yards to the end of the play. Yeah, I saw that. And it wasn't on the actual runner. It was on the blocker that they face masked. Maybe we should go see Divine next Thursday, Robert. Yeah, they're gonna play Thursday. I'm, I'm not sure who though. I we know can, some we, can, we can call Divine and ask him if they want us to broadcast. No, they, no, they let's have, go as fans. They have their own crew. So. Yeah, let's go to fans. Yeah, they got so their own let's crew. Let's go fans. Hey. fans. Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, oh. oh. RJ Guevara loses the ball and gives mm. it to Lido there. Mm -hmm. Great oh. job. 57 for Lido, man. He's just everywhere, everywhere for yeah. the defense. Yeah, he's been all over. He's been Fire. going at. One speed, and that is just continuous, continuous. Yeah, Mario Diaz, he's coming back next year for Lido. He, he, he's a beast there for Lido defense. He'll be, yeah, he'll be one of those kids to look out for. Uh, I've been enjoying watching him play. No, you're right, though. There's been some uh, outstanding players there on the Lido side. Mm -hmm. So now Lido looking uh, to get some momentum here. They got a shotgun formation. Quick pass to the right side, and it's intercepted. Is that the second interception? That's the third. Yeah, third Foz, interception. But second for Foz there. Oh, yeah, second for Foz, but it's the third of the night. Man, the secondary is on Puro Ball Hawks there. Yeah, Good job. Keith and Foz. You know, a shout out to number two by his sister, Gutierrez. Yeah, he, you know, his sister cheering for him. 
that that kid is a you know lightning rod for the Javelinas. Hopefully he'll be coming back next year, right? Who number two? Yeah. No. He's a junior. Yes. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah. Adrian Gutierrez, yeah, right? He. I need him in the field every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can play all 48 minutes. Right. I think so. So it's first and ten. Ball at the 38 yard line. Trips to the left. Flores uh, telling Kata where to go. And it's a nice. fast throw. Oh, oh come on now. Nathan Hernandez not, not able to hold that number, one. Was that two or seven? Number seven. There was a great play design. He was looking right for a, uh, uh, what was a rubber shooter screen, but threw it down the seams there, but couldn't catch it there. Oh, no. come on, seven. Another flag? Yeah. What was it? Personal foul now? Yeah. Well, number seven kept God. asking for a flag on their end. No, he was telling the defender, like, look, look, we're beating you, we're beating you. Yeah. Be careful. But, yeah, so in other words, taunting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Taunting. At the end of the day, he just needed to come out. And I, I got it the first time he did because he, he kept at it. So he heard us there. So instead of second and 10, it'll be second and 15. I mean, 25. Throw it. Oh, pressure. Oh, nice. Flores trying to get away from pressure. Oh! Split the defenders. There you go. He Throw it. Why he threw it? Oh, he's got oh, the Oh, Jerry Ramoso. He's got the whole sideline on the right side. He takes it to the 12-yard line. Oh, there's a flag on the 45-yard line there. I maybe an illegal man downfield? No. Roughing the passer, maybe? No. Ill illegal. Oh, block. it could be a block and a black. Yeah. But there was hardly anybody back there. I don't know what that call is. Double fist. What is that? When I'm not sure. What, a shift? He, he just pounded his fist like this. Like. Oh. What is that oh. call? I, I'm not sure. He kind of, uh, he did it when, like, he shook his hands. Illegal shift is a call uh, from the spot of the foul, though. Oh no! So it'll be on the 45. So a loss of two yards. It says a blindside block. It's a blindside. That's what's saying here by. I'm hearing the comments. Thank you, Javier. Javier, is it is it Garza? Yeah, Garza. He's he's one of a. Our alumni is referee, so thank you. Thank you for the uh, cl yeah. uh, clarification. We need that guy back, like back in the day. There you go. There it is. Beat that man. Beat that man. Okay, the block. Go. Team block. He takes it to the 50, 49 yeah, yard line. Nice, Polina. Coach Garcia. Nada de disciplina. Through the seven years of football that I played. I heard him say that maybe <laughs> a, close to a million times. Nice. At least fifty. Per, <laughs> uh, at least fifty per game. <laughs> fifty per game. Man, put him up there. Uh, put him in blast there. Coach Garcia, man. <laughs> I wonder if related to Coach Garcia, Moses Garcia, a legend, one, man, one, a one legend. of our awesome best coaches out there. Oh, oh pressure again! Get, get rid of it! Get rid of it! Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Number oh, 57, horse caller. man. I'm telling you that 57 is a, an award there for Lytle. Yeah, he looks like he has a, like a, what was it? Just, just motor. It's he just has a, a nose for the ball. Yeah, he's, it he's does. Smart. Uh -huh. it a, Reminds me of the 55 back in my day. <laughs> 55. Um, who's that? Who's that? Who's that uh, mystery. I've, heard, I've heard about that 55 guy. <laughs> I don't know if it's myth or legend. I don't even know if he existed. <laughs> uh, uh, so oh, that was A.B. Martinez. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Heck of a guy. Nice move for Flores. Oh, he, he throws it. There it oh, goes. he catches he it. He caught it. Rios Ricky again. Rios says, <laughs> look what I found. down <laughs> <laughs> Papa. It looks like the defender was there, but he jumped a little bit too early. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right at the 15, walks it in, Papi. And, and great job of Flores to have the, the arm strength to just. Well, 
Check great job there. of Florida because uh -huh. you have a receiver that's got an advantage over the defender right there by, uh, you know, by a couple of inches. So he just threw it up there to go get it. Mm -hmm. And great job by Rios to go get it. And, and I mean, I'm sure that kid plays basketball. So 31 to zero. Says they're 31 to, to 80. Oh, fake. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't he think throws it. Oh! To Jared. So was that by design or, or bus I, play? I don't know. Design. Okay, let's Randall's take a break, guys. Not able to connect there. We'll be there. right back. Stay with us. Look at We're back. All right. right. Thanks a lot. A little nice little tribute, right? Tribute to Coach Lopez. Coach David Lopez, Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue was playing there. And we we're all here singing along. And I really enjoyed it, Dave. Oh, yeah. I think you have something going. You know. I think you're a great backup, Bobby. <laughs> you guys yes. should go to American Idol. Yeah. <laughs> the Max the Mask Singer for David. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mask singer. They'll, they'll all probably be guessing women's wow. names. <laughs> Britney, Britney Mask singer. I, I like that high pitch you had going. Oh Mask singer going way. like a javelin <laughs> outfit or something like that. We do weddings, we do quinceañeras. Just sign this up. The other guy's sports show. Anything to pay the bill. Set me free. No, you're too. too, too you're too. No, base. Uh, base, base. base more. <laughs> thank you, Dave. Thank you. I, I, I wouldn't even try. Forget it. <laughs> Home, sweet home. That's the most Mucho base. Mucho base. All right, so Lytle hasn't found the end zone all game long. Here's their, well, might be one of their last drives here. Hopefully, uh, Navalinas will not <laughs> not accommodate them and allow them to score. No, no, exactly. But, but. Lytle had opportunities a couple of times. Yeah. But well, in the beginning, somehow though, they in the can't first push it quarter, in. they were inside the five, they were inside the ten. Yeah. Uh, that was a great tackle there by Palomo there. Open field tackle. How many minutes left in the quarter here? I'm not, not sure. sure. It's hard to get. It's know under ten is. minutes for can, sure. Can, can we get confirmation from the sidelines here from the refs or no? Do they make? No, I don't know. Unless over here in the press box. Right. All right. so, so we got trips to the right, shotgun formation, and confusion there by our defense. Oh, uh, we got number 40. So, ooh, a quick throw there, and. Incomplete pass. There for the defense, number 48, Israel Simpson. It looks like the quarterback got, got popped there a little bit, but. What is it? Third down? Yeah, it'll be third down and and seven. Same formation. Now he's looking to the left. Hey. Oh. 
Faz on a chance to make it his third interception. And Lido basically needs to connect fast in order for them to make it a, a play because the Havlinas are putting everybody in. Yeah, they're yeah. bringing a lot of heat. Bringing a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, it looks like they will Lido punt. electing to punt. Number 21 going deep for the Havlinas, Mendoza. That's Brian Mendoza. And that kid's got a lot of heart right there, Brian oh, Mendoza. I, I love watching him in baseball, man. Oh, yeah. He's a catch, right? Yes. Because him and his brother are two very talented kids. Let it go, let it go, let it go. He maybe go out of bounds. No, no, no. Can't go out of bounds. Oh, from the six yard line. <laughs> well, takes it to the seven gate. Well, Gives well, us some breathing room. Yeah, yeah. Gives yeah. A little breathing room. Exactly. So, you know, if anybody's seen him, man, he, he's just as good or better as a catcher. Oh, yeah. Quick. Is there, is oh, there so, is Hondo will be playing Randolph. Oh, wow. Already? Uh huh. In the playoffs, I guess. So, but I don't know if the game's over and the other one. Hondo and Puti. Let's, let's see if we can get a game break here and find out what's going around going on around our district. Um, well, you know what? I know Chrissy probably be nice here and start running the ball. Well, open field, guys. Oh, back empty backfield. We're going with quads to the full, to the right. Once previous here to the left. So looks like it's all seniors. Michael Vargas gets the fake, and Flores yeah. uh, that ain't able to get anything done. So, so final, Poti Daggy's 14, Hondo Al's 28. And also Jordanton, 41 to 7 oh. over Gutula. Gutula's offense has gone south. You know, south, yeah, uh, south or, yeah. or they went hibernating for the winter, I guess. Bandera Bulldogs yeah. all over Carrizo Springs Wildcats, 28 to 10. Pearsall Mavericks, 41. San Antonio YMLA, 14. So those are looks like Pearsall finally got their groove back. They were struggling there for a little bit, and finally now they're putting up the, the right number of amounts of points that they were getting earlier in the season. That's the area's game break. Number 20 now gets a handoff. Go to now and get some positive yards. She'll be third and maybe nine. Oh, flag. And Lytle's discipline has really affected their play and has been their Achilles heels in, in this game here, guys. Is, is, is giving the Havinas a lot of breaks. Oh, take that back. This is against Crystal City. Oh, my God. Unsportsmanlike conduct, Crystal City. You know. <laughs> So split left is Vargas, Garcia to the left, and Sanchez to the far right. We have Guevara, 35, tailback next to the quarterback. And it's a pass to Vargas, and I'm able to connect. Good job there by number seven for Lido Martinez. So it brings up third down and fifth or fourteen. Man, I don't happen to my Spurs. Now they're losing. It looks like they're gonna lose. Clippers with a comeback, one thirteen to one oh four with right twenty three seconds left. City. Well, last time you know um, the Lakers had a great comeback. Robert, did you see that? Or no? Is that a new franchise, Lakers? I can't. Can recall that team? No, no. Too many, too many people that don't <laughs> understand the game don't know who the Lakers are. I choose not to understand the game. Yeah, I know that you have that little hater, <laughs> hater rate going on. Pero los Lakers con Is that where the uni, siete? uni Brown player place? Oh yes, the famous Uni Brown. Oh yeah, Mr. AD. AD always down. Hey, oh, yeah. down, down, down. Oh, he's always, he's always hurt. Always hurt. Exactly. Yeah, he's always got him always down. Oh. 
I like it when he compared him with Tim Duncan, and now you don't hear no talks. Well, I think he's <laughs> more skillful than Timmy. Oh, what? Oh, no. Timmy oh, was on. Timmy had one gear, and that gear worked for 20 years. No, that's, that's, which <laughs> no, is awesome. That, that brought him five championships. Yeah, that's awesome. Right that, that was a great gear. Let you me just tell you. The only thing uh, uh, AD is better than Timmy is he has a better jumper. That's pretty much it. Well, that, there you go. And so you want an all-round player. Oh. He was not able to catch that. I'm just glad he did not call that a fumble. <laughs> so fourth down here, guys. So we're forced to punt. Let me bring up here. Uh, there's the uh, all district team. I just uploaded for the volleyball team, as you can see. Yeah, that's that's some great talent there. We lost a, a heartbreaker there in Poteen. Exactly. Robert. Five sets. We were there live. Hopefully, you guys ha had a chance to see it though. But uh, it was wonderful to see the uh, great action there. For the, it's a heartbreaker, but it is what it is. So it looks like Avalina is deciding to punt here as they're pinned deep in their own territory. And a good punt, but that wind just knocking the ball down. Yeah. So a 27-yard line. So great opportunity here for Lido to put some points on the board here. Can we figure out how much time is in the quarter? It's hard to tell, right? The the, the, the scoreboard went, went berserk. Yeah. Let me see if I can ask the guys here next to us. Oh, my God, dude. I was sitting down there in my... Do I in the rodillas, bro? And look Five, at... 539 oh. remaining on the fourth quarter. Okay. Good job. Yeah, I see the, the time clock is kind of on the fritz there. Hopefully we have, still have the receipt to send it back. Oh, nice fake. Oh, wide open. Oh, he oh. missed him. Wow, great golden Good opportunity there. Good job by the quarterback there by Lytle. Mm -hmm. Faking, selling that pump fake. Oh, just give you a little report on Davenport. Davenport only lost one game this season, and they lost to Canyon Lake 38-35. to on I a, heard that. That was uh, a great game, right? Yeah, right now they're beating Marble Falls 35-0, to zero, so they're playing. And what I love, I love about Davenport is that they're not all that big guys, man. They saw a bunch of kids executing to a great heart, level. Heart, man, a lot of Yeah, they, they believe, though. I think of, when, when a team a believes. Grit, a lot of grit on that. They can do uh, crazy things and wonderful yeah, things. And Chiquitos, you know, man, great, great defense. Great job there by the quarterback. Good speed there by the QB. I think he, he was pushed out of bounds there. Great defense. I think number seven was you know, able to push him out. But it will be first thing goal here for Lido. A golden opportunity here for Lido to score. Number 23, Mendoza. I want the shot off for the Havelin. Let's see if they can, the defense can step up here. Uh, I'm just glad for the W, Robert. I, I feel that they haven't just needed this. I think that this is great for the kids to start believing. Yes, and for, good for the program also. Right. Oh. Oh, and they're almost, almost picked off. Yeah, it's number number 20, right? Or t what is that? Mendoza, right? 21, 20. Mm. Yeah, the Bonnie Mellow jersey. We need better jerseys. I know. That, that yellow kind So it's 20 is quarter now. Oh, okay. That yellow kind of blurs in with the green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, middle day, so that doesn't help at all. That's why I do have a doctor's appointment on Monday. <laughs> I have eyeglasses, but I just don't wear them sometimes. Man. Yeah. I have my reading glasses, and man, I enjoy Oh, look at that. Number seven coming. Like he has them in the end zone. The and touchdown, Lytle. Lytle. Oh. The first, yeah, good for Lido number 11. He would have put six Lido. points on the point board. And I feel that the quarterback had an opportunity to even run it in himself. He rolled out, and it was a one on one to the left side. Number 11 doing a great job. Foz unable to find himself on the end, but so 31 to 6, and they'll be going for two. So five minutes remaining in this ball game here. Number 20 fumbles. 
He, he, I was hoping they would They wouldn't two. touch him and they would have gone back for two. Just a quick break, guys, okay? All right, be right back with the other guys. Bring back. All right, welcome back. Uh, other guys, sports show with 3.54 remaining in the fourth quarter. Lytle finally able to find the end zone on a great pass by the quarterback on the left side corner in the end zone, making a 6-35 to game now. Onside kick here. Go down. There you go. And Vargas is able to pull that ball in. So it'll be first and 10 for the Havinos right at the 37-yard line. So the announcer letting them know that the parents will be allowed to go to the football field onto David Lopez Field and celebrate this victory here. Yeah, especially for the seniors trying yeah. to get photos and everything like that. That yeah. would be, it's a great job that they're allowing them to, 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 to do that, especially this, uh, especially ending here this game at home. Nice, yeah. smart play by Flores. He lateral it. Number 12. <laughs> you saw that? Oh, flag. Uh, is it going to call a forward lateral? <laughs> no, no. I think it was It was, it was a good. lateral. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> I don't got no plan. I don't think I'm going to mark her. Oh, yeah, you heard her. You heard her name. Oh, what? So it's spot okay. foul? Yeah. So it'll be first and 10 for the Havinas. I'm not too sure what the penalty was, guys. As no le entendí los refs. They're pretty quiet. I mean, they just, like, they do the sign mm -hmm. amongst so. themselves. Oh, nice, Caleb. Number 12, Caleb Sanchez trying to get outside. Oh, another flag. Flag on the field. Illegal block in the back, Crystal City. <laughs> we can announce it to the other guy's board show. Oh, man, that's a 10-yard penalty. Yeah, illegal block in the back. So I, I'm assuming we're about 10, uh, two minutes remaining in this ball game. Ladies and gentlemen, give some information here for our cheerleaders. We have Xavier Zavala and Melissa Espinosa, 2022-23 All-American cheerleaders going to Hawaii to represent Crystal City High School. Sanchez takes it to the 44-yard line for about a good gain, about nine yards on that play right there. 
So second and 13 here for the Havlinas. Well, that's a good thing, second down. I thought it was going to be third down already. And while we're still at it, ladies and gentlemen, let's recognize our amazing varsity senior cheerleaders who have been with this cheerleading program for four who, who, years. Who knows how much time is in the clock Maria at this point? Yeah, it should be well, maybe Mr. around two Lada minutes Rio. or so. Oh. I will have Caleb to score a touchdown, but so right far. Oh, hopefully they you'll feed him this three yards. So yeah, please. they'll continue running, the, cl running the clock. So it'll be third and 12. Ball spotted right at the 48 yard line. Looks like the van's facing Gerald Cookers. They'll be playing at Canyon Lake. Oh, they're probably New Braunfels. Yeah, well, New Braunfels way out there. Uh huh. I don't know. Where's Gerald, anyways? Have you heard? No. They? No. Where's AB? AB knows. AB, where's Gerald at? Texas. Oh, a little bit short. Yeah. Because this Lytle's quarterback is a freshman, so that's 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 good news for oh, Lytle. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Here in the comments here. Shout well, out for those seniors. Yeah, well, that, that's a, a good athlete there for to be a freshman and starting here in varsity. Kudos to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, he can only get better. Yeah, and also he has a gun of an arm, and he's a pretty good athlete, though. Yeah. You know, he can it, run. He can he, run. He can tuck and run. Yeah, number six has been doing great job there for Lytle. So on the lateral, or remember when he passed it, it was an illegal forward pass, apparently from uh, Garcia here. It's on top of it. Thank you. I think I called that, right? Yeah, huh, you did mention that. Time out, Crystal City. But I believe in when he said it, though. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no, no. When he said it, he had, more, he, he, he had better credentials. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He has a Foot Locker shirt at home somewhere. <laughs> I don't. Foot Locker. Lavando. Lavando. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, you mentioned, Bobby, you know, it's such a good note. I think we could call it this a uh, Halloween win. Yes, you know. Oh yeah. So, so it is good for the seniors and for the program, and mm -hmm. and I'm glad, you know, because it was a rough, rough a, season. Yeah, it was a rough season uh -huh. with ups and downs, and and signs of greatness and signs of just what the heck is happening, right? And to li to end it, even even this last game is still some, you know, discipline issues, but a lot of things went our way, and this feeling of them just having this this game. Is is gonna go a long way. Yeah, it, it is. It is, and also you know, and and uh, and the constant and all this, our defense, our defense has been solid. You know, for the most part. You know, I know they have some uh, weak moments here and there, but but uh, for the defense overall, they've been most consistent. But is the way of the season. The power will be at the 15 yard line. First and 10 for Lytle. Ball is down by number 44. So Lytle didn't make. <laughs> Didn't make the extra point, right? So, so 31 to six here in the fourth, late in the fourth quarter. Who knows how much time is left at this point? Well, last time it was two minutes, uh, so I'm thinking like maybe close to a minute or less yeah, already. Yeah, it should be less than a minute. Because we did run the ball a lot, but because of the penalties, the clock did stop several times. And the reason we don't know is gonna, uh, the scoreboard is on the fritz right now. Yeah, the clock operator messed it up. Yeah, maybe it got wet or, you know, maybe this clock is only used to the heat. Yeah, go to minute cold maybe front. it's a sign that we need a new clock. So, community, make sure you talk to you, your school district, oh, especially your school board, and maybe we can get a new clock. And there it is. You see it? Right. It's frozen right there. Or, and um, what was I was going to say. Well, that's how I county bank there. Maybe we can donate a inst new one. Instant oh, yeah. replay. Or new sponsor. Right? Instant replay. With instant replay, would be nice. Four, With a little, Peter, little Peter, big screen. I thought uh, Alex, Gerald is north of Austin. There we go. Alex, Alex, coming right, through. Alex, coming through, through clutch, Alex. North of Austin. Number oh, 23, 23, Mendoza. 23, just Mendoza just all over the place, man. Number 23, Jason. Yeah, shout out to the seniors, man. This, this is going to be at least a great feeling for them to go out this way. Oh, yeah. And 
just to touch back on Mendoza, he's a sophomore, no, Bobby. Man, he, he's special, man. I'm telling you. He's got two more years with us as a just creating havoc to the offenses. What about look Oh, nice throw. Oh, oh! Yeah. Coronado. Coronado had, he had the vision of the end zone already. <laughs> I know. He had, his, his, hands he had his eyes already downfield. Uh huh. Yeah, he he wanted to, he wanted that one. Yeah, I don't know who would have scored, but he would have a, a nice chance there. So, you know, great job there for all seniors, for the man, cheerleaders. You know, th this is the last football game here of the season. But I know that uh, basketball, you know, coming into the game, we saw the, the buzz there, the Lady Havalins are, are in basketball. Right. Uh, Laredo was coming into town. Uh, mm -hmm. As Crystal City girls volley, uh, basketball uh -huh. team hosting the Laredo. Oh! I thought he was going to pass it. Yeah, let me change it here real quick. So, it's good to show you that basketball season is that's basically here. And I'm pretty sure the varsity boys will probably start soon. And that's the ball game, guys. So that's a win for the Javelinas. Uh, a 35 to 6 win against the Lido Pirates. As we started the season with a win, we end the season with a win as well. Great job of our defense earlier in the ball game, keeping us, you know, in the game at all times, stopping Lido as Lido was inside our 10 twice. And there's Coach Battle getting the. <laughs> The Gatorade or water, uh, whatever that is. Bucket water. Great <laughs> job. I'm, I'm glad to see that, Coach Battle. It's I love it. The kids, you know, loving it, you know, embracing the, embracing Coach Battle. It's his first year here. And then not only that, underclassmen getting ready for him to, to just, you know, lead him into the next couple of years here now. now. Yeah, because it's a young program, and, and, and it is, you know, we're going to have our bumps in the road, and, and this, is, this season was one of them. But, you know, th I see it. This is the foundation being laid down and let's build build this uh, program up yeah so you know great win for the Javelinas and 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 uh, you know great effort there for the uh, Lido Pirates they have yeah. some great talent you talk about that Bobby yeah so they have a great future especially the freshman quarterback and of course make sure you go out and vote yes. there's lo there's local positions even school board positions and for governor if you're voting red voting Thanksgiving I think your vote counts twice <laughs> and nation for me tocayo i think don't forget to vote <laughs> november yeah, 8th that's important to vote be sure to vote <laughs> <laughs> so um i uh, think i'm gonna wait for uh what was it um who are we waiting for esteem went blank the camera guy oh, oh mr oh, jacob 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 is gonna come down and say a few words oh so great he, so he said that to keep the line open so. Oh, okay so i will wait for him and, 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 and again, uh, the, that catch up there is for my cousin, Rachel Ramirez, that, you know, she did not have insurance or life insurance. So we're trying to help f fundraise for the funeral expenses and for the kids. If you can show some love, that is her cash app there. She was 41 years old. She helped uh, us out with the other guys for show as a camera person mm -hmm. when, when one of our camera guys kind of couldn't help us out anymore. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, it, and it's like I said, when we say Hog Nation, we include everybody. It, it's a family. It's a community. We all back yeah. each other up. And, and just to help her uh, her family out with, you know, little things that, you know, you really don't want to worry about too much, especially expenses like that. But I'm sure everybody's been touched or has been uh, with somebody, a family member with cancer or anything yes. like that. So, you know, a give a little doesn't need a lot, but a little with goes a lot of people way. goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, whatever you can give. Uh, I understand that, you know, uh, things are tight and, you know, anything you can give, you know, yeah. it goes a long way. Yeah. So, so man, uh, Lido, big, beautiful Crystal man. City. <laughs> oh, man. No, but Rob, th this, was, this was special. Um, I think so, too. I think so too. You know, it was it was a great effort. You know, we talked about it before the game start. We have the same energy and the focus of the previous week, and we, we showed, we sh we showed for the most part. Uh, uh, but great job on the defense. How many turnovers did we get? Like five turnovers. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five turnovers. Our defense was just kept us. Like I said early in the game, it kept us in until our offense kind of finally got into gear. 
And once the offense uh, found the end zone, mm -hmm. it seemed like they wanted it more and more and more. And they did find it, what, four more times almost after the first time. So great job by the Crystal City Javelinas. Not only that, I mean, great job by our defense all year long, keeping us in games and everything like that. I think a lot of the defensive players uh, was talking and mentioning to Bobby and Robert, we have a lot of returners next year on defense, our linebackers, our defensive ends. I mean, this team has only one way to go if they really want it, and that is going forward and maybe even challenging for the district championship next year. That's how, that's how much I think if we get a lot of these returners, plus the underclassmen coming up right now, mm -hmm. we got a lot of... They look solid. Our, our freshman team went undefeated mm -hmm. all year long against all the teams, Divine, against Uvalde, against Jordanton. Oh, man, all those teams are Sh tough ones. Should I mention all the seniors? Or? Yeah, let's go yeah, ahead and sure. do that. Go ahead, Bobby. Okay, I want to go ahead and start with our quarterback, Carlos Flores, RJ Guevara, Mr. Norby Garcia, Nathaniel Hernandez, Eric Reese, Mr. Caleb Sanchez, Aaron Coronado, Brian Mendoza, K Keith Voss, Mr. Marco Martinez, Mr. Raul Maldonado, Jaden Saucedo, Michael Vargas, Mr. Raul Musquiz, Rigo Moncada, Israel Simpson, Mr. Ventura Gonzalez, Diego Rivera, Mario Uravazo, um, Joe Ruiz, Omar Cisneros, Isaac Rodriguez, Victor Garcia, Luke Morales, and Patrick Ramirez, Javier Moncada, Felix Guevara, our, our outgoing seniors, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a Javelina, Hawk Nation, Hawk Pride. All you're, of, you're now part of, uh, you know, part you know, of a bigger thing, man. Right. Uh, you welcome, when you come back, uh, homecoming and all that, you are welcome with open arms because the new era, you are part of a legacy of something that, you know, we've built throughout the years, you know, since the 1950s and 40s when Crystal City actually existed. You know, started playing football in those years. You know, yeah. it's amazing. Now you're part of a great history, a uh, great line of champions uh, also. Uh, we're not going to be perfect every year, but we do put that perfect effort to be great that year. And I believe that every year is just the foundation for the following year coming up. So great job. A lot of respect for you guys. Great work. You know, uh, not what we wanted sometimes, but you know what? It is what it is. But at the end, look at what you accomplished. You did really good at the end last game, Lotto. We could have, you know, put it put it away and say, you know what? Let's get to basketball. But they didn't. They came out and they fought and they 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 got a one. They got a win tonight. No, uh, today's today's match game was <clears throat> was everything we needed. You know. Yeah. For the community, for the program, for the yeah. kids, morale. To believe. Yeah. To continue to believe. So let's, let's build on this, guys. We love you as a community. A que pierdan, chingada. I love them. Uh, you know, yeah. pero <laughs> I want to say <laughs> thank Quiero you, Hawks. Quiero darle unos coscorrones. Sí, en esto. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> but at the end, of, you know, Coach, I, I love a Coach Battle, you know, win the day mentality. Reminds me of my, the late Kobe Mamba mentality. You got to put in the work, man. That's you, right. You get what you put in. Let, let's get it. Now, on to the next sports, you know. Yeah, because uh. like I said, Havelina Nation is not, you know, only about football. It's about all other sports, volleyball, basketball, yeah. softball, baseball, track and field, golf, tennis, all the other stuff. Not only that, also the band, no, UIL not, competitions, not. stuff like that. So we all represent something, but most importantly, we represent this town, Crystal City, Texas, because you know what? We are green and gold to a dead and cold, cold, baby. You know, yeah. and you'll always go back to your high school and remember your high school as, you know what, one of the best times in your lives. And, and, and you can see in the field right now, we have the seniors lining up. And this is their last game on this field. Wow. So we have our camera catching the whole seniors. Great job by Cecilia doing the, the field work right there. Yeah. And, and a lot of the players, or maybe all of them, they will not play football again. You know, yeah. Usually this is, this is uh, but, you know, for the, fortune, for the few fortunate, they can play college ball. Mm -hmm. You know, but for a lot of them, for a lot of the players, this is the last time they're going to play football. Yeah. And it's uh, hard, though, because, you know, come on, like, I'm pretty sure you can predict this, Bobby, you know, you have this love and passion for football. You know, yeah. you, it's not like you can have a pickup game like basketball and, you know, yeah. and play yeah, I think I played 
Number two, at, at when I went to college, well, only um, number five. What do you call it when you uh, come on, like intramural, uh, intramural uh -huh. football, and in, in, in a junior college, and then when I went number to seven, Dallas Divi, I, I played my my brother Danny. Number you eight, know, when he was in college football, he he would call me up saying, "You, you can play over here." <laughs> he he had a little bit more faith than I did. <laughs> I, I always considered myself too short. <laughs> You know, to to be alignment at the collegiate level, but he was like, "No, Bobby, you can start over here." I'm like, "No, nah, I don't know. I don't know about that." <laughs> you didn't believe in yourself, Bobby? Well, and when when I was when I wore that having the helmet, I sure did. <laughs> but I think I I just had a you know college was just a different beast. Oh yeah, because everybody is an all district over there. Everybody's yeah. all staters and stuff like that. You know, especially but in instead of Texas football, in you know, high school football, it's, it's the next next level, and but everybody competes. But, but I did play intramural when I was in Dallas, and I felt like, man, I think I should I should have played. <laughs> oh, oh, I did really well. <laughs> but yeah, but you get the juices flowing inside. Yeah, like I, I I think just once they they put me in the line, it's like let's play. And I'm like, man, I think you I could play. You probably could have played somewhere like a Division Two. Yeah, in, I in, you. In, in Utah. Montana. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I could have been the fastest guy with a, my 5 two, 40. There you go. Yeah, but, but talking about the Javelinas, kind of, I want to mention that uh, uh, there was fight in district. Oh, yeah. If you think about it, the first district game in Kutula. Oh, yeah. Uh, for the most part, we were. At the, the game, game yeah. except for the referee, that was one of the oh, worst. That, that was one of the craziest games. Performance yeah. referees I've seen like ever. But yeah. you know, going back, I think the uh, Georgian game was kind of a little out of control on that one. But Handel competitive, uh, uh, Potit competitive. Yeah, I, I and of course here we got a victory here. Yes. Right now the the, the seniors, uh, you know, the whole lineup there is beautiful. And now we have the parents coming up. And basically saying, you know, basically showing some love to the kids, man. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah, let me, I'm gonna go ahead and give my headsets here to the to the man of the hour. The our, man, our, the man, the, 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 the guy man, who the was legend. a season. Hey, it was the MVP for the other guy sports show, man. I'm oh, thank, you, thank you, Jacob Salazar, our salesman. Our MVP here. You and Cecilia have made us I'm look a, better than we've ever have uh, the last few games, Jacob. I just yeah. want to say thank you. And let me give you a hit, man. I want you yeah. to talk. Yeah. Hopefully everybody can hear me. No, no. We got loud and clear. Loud okay. and clear. You got 180 people listening <laughs> right now. Uh, Bobby, where are you at? Yeah. All right. So the first time I saw your post, <laughs> it said that you needed somebody to volunteer for your for a yeah. camera guy. So I thought of when I saw it, I, I was like, should I do it or should I not do it? But I heard complaints about last year that the recording wasn't that good. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me step up. <laughs> Let me step hey. up to the plate. So I know your camera wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> but, you know, you, you, you want, at the end of the day, the, the end product was, was you following that ball correctly. You know, you were using our, our Canon camera that we've been using. It, it all started with our iPad, I mean, our MacBook not being yeah. sufficient. And then, but but really, really, it was you behind the camera. You know, I, I can say the camera was better, whatever. I think the fact that you were able to follow the ball was made made our pro, our pro production a whole lot better, Jacob. So, yeah, yeah. But well, I've been. Then you brought the, the video, and, and I'm glad you saw that post because we're totally totally you know in dire need of, of somebody else because our deal was we, we had a lot of people that went out and and that was our issue and and I thank you for making that call and if I if I'm not mistaken you're you're signed up for a five-year contract already. <laughs> <laughs> right Robert Did you say he signed up for a five-year right five-year contract yeah, yeah. Five year. <laughs> in blood in blood <laughs> Start, starting Next year. Starting next year. <laughs> <laughs> but this got, is a trial. This is a trial period. Yeah. yeah. So guys, I had a lot of fun. And the reason I wanted to do this because football is in my blood. Yeah. So I was born to play and I was not gonna not gonna stop from this. Nah. So I've been recording for a while because I started in La Prior. 
and then I stopped, and then now we're, here I am. No, no, and, and you made all the difference, man. And and you you seen it, you yeah, know, for years, you know. Yeah. So we, we're doing something good, something special for our community, and it takes a whole team: Salas, myself, Jesse, um, Palomo, Cecilia Ross, yeah. David Guerrero, Robert Martinez, the truth, and of course, my my truckers. The main man, the guys that add salsa to our program, yeah, Mr. Yeah. A.B. and Alex Martinez. You know, that's is what the other guys is all about, and we do it for free, right? Yeah. Todo lo que le puedo dar es comida. Thank you for the cash apps that we do, and that's what we do. You know, gas and, and food is what drives us at the end of the day. So. Yeah, but... Um I'll actually also give a shout out because I was talking to my cousin, remember Alvaro? Oh man, Alvaro, <laughs> Alvaro one of the main creators right well, there. He was one of the original yes. other guys' sports show for the first season or two. Yeah. And he did a lot of our Facebook pages and stuff yeah. like that. And he kind of got us started as well. And I was telling him, oh man, man, we always talk about you, how you had all this info, how you helped us Mr. out. Data, with yeah. A lot of stuff. UT. And, and he goes like, man, I, you know, I wish I could still be there, but he's already in, in Pflugerville. Oh, he's wow. in Pflugerville out there. Yeah, he's married and everything. So, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if, if y'all want to leave in the comments about how my how my work did, uh, please do. Uh, I tried my best. So, so thank y'all everybody for having uh, me, well, and I will I will definitely be here next year. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's verbal out. commitment. <laughs> verbal commitment. I will definitely be here next year. Uh, and, like, and like and like we tell the uh, Havelinas and Nation and Hog Nation out there, uh, you know, we try to get better every year. We try to get better, yeah. which which we always say, how are we gonna get better, man? I think it was one of the better years we've had. And then all of a sudden, somebody comes up with an idea, like, hey, you know what? Why did we do this? Especially Bobby and his, you know, he's got. I love about Bobby, and, 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 and you know, he throws, hey. What if we do this? What if we get a drone or something like that? But yeah. we haven't gotten the drone yet. He's already thinking about it. We, we did it for the for the cross country. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, I think our administration did not allow us to use a drone. Yeah. <laughs> so so that, that idea did come in, Dave. But the thing is, we always got ideas going in. We're always trying to get better, get the best quality. And you know what? It does reflect on the comments, you know, even people that are not from Crystal City, from the visiting team or the home team that we were going out there, they love the show just not because of the camera work, but the coverage that we do, the different angles, exactly. the commentary, the, the knowledge that we throw in out there. So everybody throws in a little piece of everything, but it all works out. It's like a perfect bowl of soup and menudo or something, <laughs> and it works. It's got a great taste, got everything. So I'd like to thank everybody, Robert, Bobby, Jacob, Jesse, Palomo, Jesse, Sala, Cecilia, our truckers, A.B. and Alex, and, you know, and my family as well for right. allowing us to be out here. I'd like to give a shout-out to my wife, Laura, my kids, uh, Ashley, Kathy, Mandy, Sophie out there. You know, we love you girls. Uh, thank you for supporting the other guys' sports show, for supporting me. My granddaughter, Bella, who's a little sick right now, but hey, you know what? She's our number one fan. She loves to hear us. And you know what, guys? Without our family, our family support, we wouldn't be here because my wife would be like, you're never home. <laughs> but you know what? She's yeah. like, hey, uh, you need to, you know, you know, wear your khaki pants or wear your, these shoes. And she's <laughs> always telling me, like, hey, so you guys can look better and everything. So i like to give a shout out to my wife. Love you, me, uh, honey. Thank you for all the support, and I'm sure you guys want to give a little shout out to anybody well, out there. Well, I want to shout out to uh, uh, my little cousin Ellie. That's she's right. in heaven right That's now. That's right. She's watching, baby. Yes. So. All this strong, Papa. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just want to say, you know, shout out to to all our fans and, and from all around the area, man, because this is what it's all about. And I think Mr. Garza there told us that drones are illegal during games, so. Yeah, I wanted to use the drone the, before the games. I wanted to, when people come in and all that. Yeah. So, but they told me no, <laughs> which, which is, is okay. I, I I just thought catching the enemy, especially for Crystal Carrizo games. You know how the parking lot is just crazy. Yeah. yeah. I, I I that's what I really wanted to showcase to the to the fans all around the world. But other than that, man, uh, Robert, you want to hit this real quick? Give a shout out to anybody. No, guys, I'll be hearing, you know, wonderful words. And I, I agree with David, you know, the support of my wife, uh, Gloria, 
you know, if that was her, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to go here. Because I know sometimes I leave the game, she looked at me sideways, and the worst time, one of us, one of us, ah, I got to do that thing, remember? <laughs> you remember. <laughs> you remember, and also my son, you know, it's in UTSA, well, they're go road runners, you know, and hopefully everything goes well, he can graduate this year, so. So I'm looking forward to it. And also, shout out for the for the Hog Nation. I think uh, Bobby mentioned it, community. I think community is important. And, and also community of, of other cities. I'm surprised that we get a lot of love from Hondo, uh, from Ovalde, a lot of love, and uh, Lido and, and uh, Cuero. Cuero, a lot of love. You know, we're just a bunch of guys, you know, goofballs, just doing, <coughs> just doing what we like. It's, uh, that's why we cover some of the other guys, because we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not regular guys. We do, we do things our way. And, right. uh, and I think, uh, you know, a community, and I think ourselves as family. So yeah. I think that's the reason we kind of work with each other because, yeah. you know, we see ourselves family. Yeah. And also we'd like to give a shout-out to all our sponsors as well, our sponsors that help us uh, get new gear, get the laptops, get the headsets and new stuff. You know, all the, all the sponsors out there, thank you. Uh, we're not done yet. You know, we still got the basketball games. We got the baseball games, uh, softball games and stuff like that. So, I mean. Uh, yeah, I won't, I won't be there for that, for basketball or anything no, like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, that's a little bit tougher. That's a little yeah. bit tougher. Me, me, me and Bobby already have a, a, a thing going, so we'll, yeah. we'll get take care of that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so we'll see what comes around. But, again, uh, everybody, thank you again for for joining the Other Guys Sports Show, for being part of our, uh, especially our football season, as we bring you live heavily in the football. You know, without you guys, we I don't know where we'd be at. We'd probably be down there yelling, you know. <laughs> but now comes the playoffs. Yeah, the playoffs. Uh, hopefully, as fans, we can enjoy the playoffs. Uh, I know I can't wait for the triple hitters at the Alamo Dome. Oh, those are, those oh are, those man. Those are always great. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jacob, well, you're always welcome. You want to join us? Well, well, anybody's yeah. welcome. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm down. Yeah. I'm and down. the thing is, you pay, what, $20, and you get to see yeah. three football games all day long. And wow. Some, and sometimes we go to Hooters and get the 100, 100 wings. Yeah. <laughs> and little uh, drinks to, for our mature palates. <laughs> yeah, so it's always fun, though, especially when we hang out with, with, with friends. So. Oh, yeah. So, so I, I am looking forward to um, next week. Next, uh, next week. Next week and the festival also. Next week also. And the festival, so be sure to enjoy yourself. So. Yeah. Be yeah. safe right out there. So all people coming in from Chris, uh, coming back to Crystal, you know, welcome. Come back uh, and, you know, stay safe. And like I said, uh, Hog Nation, it's about not one person or one group of people. It's, a, it's just a community. Uh, and, again, I'd like to thank everybody again uh, from me and the guys here. Thank you again. And uh, we'll see you in the basketball quarters, man. Yeah. You, know, you and Bobby do a great job on that. And uh, I know I get to, you know, maybe get get in there once or twice. Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, if you're around the area, drop by, say a few words. If you want to see a basketball game, you know, me and Bobby, we're probably going to take a few weeks uh, break, but yeah. we'll get going. Uh, yeah. I think in early in the basketball season, it's a lot of tournaments and stuff uh, like that. Yeah. So Yeah, but anyway, but anyway. So, Hog Nation, thank you, and everybody listening out there live here at Ho uh, the Other Guy Sports Show. Uh, you know what? Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. And you know what? To our seniors, farewell, but not goodbye. You know, we'll see you again sometime when you're homecoming or, you know, go out there, represent Crystal City, be proud, be loud. And like I said, we're green and go until we're, until dead, we're dead and cold. cold. Go Hogs, baby. Love it. <laughs>